<laughs> Welcome to the stream. Hey, actually, uh, we are gonna be playing Genshin, as you can probably see. But yeah, I am like very <laughs> riding on copium at the moment. Because we're about to finish the Banner of Kazuha, and I still haven't gotten Hazel, which is basically one of the only reasons I'm still pulling on his banner. 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 Kasi ngayon, yung primos, like yung ano ko, wish counter ko, is at 39. 39 PT. So, <laughs> sobrang, sobrang unlikely pa na makakuha ko ng, ng 4 star na guaranteed, but, you know, copium. So, hoping I get that. Like, I'm gonna wish as much as I can. Hanggang sa ma 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 mawala na yung banner ni Kazo and then I'm just gonna save na for for uh, for for Zhongli siguro sa riran na. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Let's play some Genshin. Nice. Right. Hi. Nasa ida. Ano ba? As you can see, asan ang malapit na mga lab mga AR-56 eh? By malapit, still kind of far away, kasi very, very grindy. Um, pag level up at this point. And you'd have to have been playing for so long to be able to be AR-60 right now. Yeah. So basically, I've been like on and off with this game for a while. But now I've just gone back to it para... Para mag... Anong tawag nito? To play it daily again. So I stopped a little while ago. Because I had a lot of stuff to do. And I just couldn't... Uh... Play Genshin as much as I used to. <laughs> like before the, you know, before, before when, nung na, nung pandemic pa siya, like in 2020, I started playing this. No 1.1, I think. Yeah, it was the last week, I think, or last two weeks of Benti's banner that I played. Thus, I stopped at uh, Child's banner. <laughs> it was pretty depressing actually, because I lost my May 50-50. With to Gene, so kind of felt demotivated about that. But anyway, let's proceed with Hidden Strife. I say I've been doing this event for a few days now. Actually, been pretty fun. Pero I haven't um haven't been able to do the final ones like in Dire Straits, the hardest uh hardest level. 
hardest level. Hardest difficulty ng event na to. Um, mainly because my team isn't like fully leveled, but at the same time, I think I get pretty unlucky with uh, how I do the rotations. So, yeah, I mean, I could, I could definitely na it like all it eh. So, I mean, I mean, I, mean, I, I could <laughs> try that for tonight. Ah, for tonight, for today. Aba nandito pa tayo. Just for fun, you know? But then we're not in grind yan eh. I mean, to be honest, like the, the, the reward for Dire Straits isn't very. You know? It's not that. It's not that good. Chaka. <laughs> Makakuha mo na yung primo sa ane. Like, just. Just doing the. The easiest difficulty. So. Yeah. Oi, finally. I don't know, frozen event. Okay, so perfect. I can use. I, I, I'm gonna be able to use. If I'm a free steam for this one, which I was intending to use. So let's do that really quickly. Today, actually, today also, I am planning to get Ayaka ascended to level 90. But I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna level her up to level 90. I'm just gonna ascend her from, from there. So. All right, who's that? Ah, I liked my own stream. <laughs> Thanks, me. Nah, I'm kidding. Halang yan, ako na lang umuwi. <laughs> Oo nga, ikaw na lang umuwi. <laughs> ano ikaw na lang yung umuwi? Okay, let's go. Let's try this. My this event is honestly pretty fun. Here we go. Think you can get away? Can't handle your drink. Huh? Hold the line. Take flight. Coming such a lot. I may even be able to do the Dire Straits version of this one. Although... Oops... Lagging a little bit. This thing... Maybe this is going to be hard for us. Actually, never mind. Now we got it. We got this in the bag. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty easy. Try not in dire straits after now. Though. Okay, so I think officially now I can do one more pull. I think. But I'm gonna save it until like the very last moment. Nice. The low on BP level. Very nice. Ay, tingnan natin kung ilan na lang yung time limit kay Hazo. Actually, di pa, di pa pala kaya. <laughs> Three hours! <laughs> Three hours to get Hazo. Three hours left. My goodness. Okay. Man, at, to be honest, at this moment, parang feeling ko hindi ko na makakuha si Hazo eh. <laughs> feeling ko lang din na makakuha ng, ano, ng enough. Ng enough for, uh, for at least a single pull. It's gonna be super unfortunate, pero I hope he gets a rerun because he's a super fun character. I wanna get him before I start wailing. <laughs> Not wailing, but like, focusing on trying to get the Dendro characters kasi I've been so hyped for the Dendro characters ever since the game launched. Tapos, ngayon lang sila papasok, like after almost a year and a half into the game. No! No, okay lang yan. Hindi ko naman masyadong kailangan nun. Hmm... 
Lynch Troubles. Gawin ko muna to. Pang ano din tayo. Pang... Companionship XP. Mm -hmm. Pretty nasty cold as well. <laughs> it's pretty unfortunate. Hello. Raw meat. <laughs> sure. I have raw meat. Tenang ilunggu lang ya. Sure. She doesn't even take the raw meat, by the way. She just looks at it and just gives you something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 Uh, commissions go after na itong conclusion ng quest na to, I think. <laughs> Hello. You're finally back. Yes, I, I am. You'd be gone for so long. Sorry if it was too much trouble. Yes, yeah, okay. no problem. Thank you, Ellie, for sharing the stream. Uh, even if we didn't, we, even if we hadn't gone to Falcon Coast, we probably would have been fighting monsters somewhere so else. Anyway, is Master D. Luke back yet? We didn't see him at Falcon Coast. Sorry, I'm not sure of Master's whereabouts either, but I did hear that he recently visited Angel's Chair. Oh. After okay. dealing with this kind of trouble, Master is always careful to tie up all loose ends. It's become something of a routine. Mm. He should be back very soon. You needn't worry. In the meantime, oh, okay. make yourself comfortable. Oh, okay. I lost some angel chair. We managed to complete the program. Yeah. Tang ina nakin lat pa sa likod Let's just wait for him at the winery this time. At least we got CD. Look at the past. It was worth it for that experience. been standing there waiting for Master D. Luke this whole time because that would be really tiring. Oh, thanks for your concern. But I've actually been instructed by Master to meet with some special guests here. Huh? Certain guests would that be reminding to stay away for the time being. Oh. Master hopes that under the present circumstances, these guests will keep an appropriate distance from the winery so as not to make a difficult situation even more complicated. Uh, well... <laughs> understand any of that but it sounds like a really important job <laughs> maybe we could help meet those guests That's very kind of you indeed but you've already helped master d look out a great deal you can let me take care of these time-consuming chores all right there is one small thing you could do for me though please take this letter and place it on the table to your right as you enter the door oh well there okay. are a few archived letters on that table already. Just put this one at the very top of the pile. Oh, okay. They look like he's in there. Yes, it's from one of his informants. Only those in Master's inner circle. The emo goth boy in the monster. Ooh, that means we're part of Diluc's inner circle. That's true. Of course, Master Diluc greatly values your friendship. Thanks again for the help. Uh. New letter. Ay, wait lang. Ako ay nahahatching. <laughs> well, that's not bad. Asan na yun? Ayun. Let me just do this real quick. Hang on. <laughs> Ayan. Ayan, ang katina ilong ko eh. Pantapat <laughs> kay Shao. Eh, 
Asa na yung table na yun? Ito ba? Ah, ito. Ah, this is Tilux's desk. Oh, this. Daming letter ah. Just before he left, he must have been in a hurry. Right. Adelan asked us to put this one at the top of the pile, but how are we supposed to tell the order of the other ones? Guess we're just gonna have to read them, huh? <laughs> Wait, let me think. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. Okay, let's just tidy them up a little. You're here. Oh. You move fast. Bam. There he is. The man of the hour. <gasps> what are you agonizing over? Letters. I have not heard this man's voice in a cutscene in like a year. <laughs> but uh, it's your personal mail, so it'd be rude for us to read them without your permission. <sighs> There's no need to be nervous. And I can see from the looks on your faces that they've grabbed your interest. These letters deal with events that are past and gone. I only held on to them in case any of the information they contain proves useful later down the line. I see. I just dug them out to confirm a few details. I've been following some rather unique developments recently. You were involved <laughs> in the events in question anyway. Oh! You can read them if you want to. It's not a bad thing to be curious. I wonder what those are about. You still have other business to attend to? I guess he does. You seem to be in a huge rush. Hey, that's a good point. Actually, you kind of smell like wild mountain fruit. Oh, did you go to those mountains where the Valberries come from? Very perceptive. Yes, I did make a trip to the Stormbear Mountains. I'll fill you in later. All right. Keeping secrets. <laughs> some super important things to discuss with D Luke. Not to mention a whole bunch of questions. Batman and si ane si D Luke. <laughs> Paimon, you need to calm down. It's been a long time since D Luke's presence last overawed you, huh? All right. Let's just sort these letters for him. <laughs> He doesn't know. Eh. <laughs> I've not seen that guy in so long. Last time I saw that guy was in the fucking intro sequences. Uh okay. Tidily written letter. To the heir of the Ragnvinder clan. I apologize for sending this letter without notice. You may not remember me, but we met a few times. We've met near the square when I sat at the table adjacent to yours at the Good Hunter, and I've seen you in her tavern. You were always busy with great many things, especially back when you were uh, much shattered than you are now. Shit! Go to play. It's probably no surprise that you did not notice me then, but I've always had my eye on you, child. I recall with crystal clarity how my little Klee once made a complete mess of your vineyard while she was trying to catch crystal flies there. Oh, it's Alice! But you didn't get angry. In fact, you personally escorted Klee back and even gave her a few bottles of fresh grape juice. Oh, that's adorable. Now, I think that that might uh, jog your memory. Yes? Yes, yes. Ah, it's Alice. Nga to. Klee recently told me that she hasn't seen that strange man with her red hair in ages, so I decided to look into it out of curiosity. My deepest condolences regarding your father. In many of the stories I've been told, you are the model knight, proud, driven, and knight of noble character and lineage. But I know that you're gentler than you appear. If you weren't, you wouldn't have treated Klee the way you did. And since you helped my child out, I hope you wouldn't mind if I treat you as if you were my own. Oh my god, Alice! God damn! Therefore, I sincerely hope that you will leave the dark place that you are presently in, and that you will not wallow in grief and remorse. Oh, that's so nice! Partings are the most painful things, but they also encourage us to grow. A bird that has lost the roof over its head will fly further than others of its kind. Go out and see the world. That's the best course of action I can envision. Only by feeling, observing, and listening can your heart be healed. Parents all wish that they can accompany their children forever, and the sky, seas, and stars bear witness to that oath. Everything that was your father now finds their new life with you. That which you will experience in this world may have been the things that your father experienced once upon a time. I hope that the wind will bring you all manner of wondrous things in your journeys to come. In any case, keep your chin up, young child. Huh. Paimon's not sure what this one's about. I know what it's about, Paimon. It's Alice's letter to D. Luke. Letter cleared her Master, 
Master Kaya took leave and stayed at Don Winery for a few days. In a rare turn of events, he decided to stay in his original bedroom. He would pace about the ground to an idol and even ask Adeline to make him his favorite dishes. Ah, it really does take me back. Probably one of the people sa loob ng Don Winery. I shall be honest with you, but I was quite surprised to hear Master Kaya say that he wanted to stay for a few days. We did not refuse him, however. We believe that even if you were here, you would not refuse him outright. <laughs> Ay, nakuha. Ito magkapatid to. Don Winery is always in a more quiet location, perhaps because all who stay here are rather peaceable people. The house is made by those who live in it, and Master Kai's uncommon arrival did end up livening the place up significantly. I hope that you are doing well in your travels abroad. Everyone here at the winery misses you. Oh, okay, so this is... Oh, wait a minute. Ah, these are old letters. Siguro before... Before Somali ng Fatu, we see the look. Do you want to keep reading them, or have you got the gist now? Let's read one okay. more letter. Remember, we're trying to figure out when each letter was written. Okay, yeah, no problem. Uh, how about I read the letter that I gave to Adeline? Dear Dark Knight Hero, the Knights of Avonius have stepped up the guard details throughout Mondstadt without making any major movements. The Abyss Order will not have noticed. I am scouting around Dragon's Spine. The monsters here are scattered and separated. Clearly, they haven't been assembled by the Abyss Order. Why is that? There are no signs of enemy activity in the south of Mondstadt either. If you can confirm that the other locations are also free of monsters, you'll be able to conclude that the Abyss Order has nothing to do with the recently aligned disorder. Ah, uh, okay. I'm all set. Right, I guess that's it's them doing that. These, it's that Master Diluc has had a pretty difficult past. Yeah. Not only was he misunderstood by the Knights of Vonius, but he's faced all kinds of other obstacles too. You can say that again. Sounds like it's tough being Captain Pyro. <laughs> Always fighting alone because for one reason or another. It wasn't convenient for the people around him to help out. But Adelik seems to have found some peace since then. Yeah, that's true. Plus, he's got us now. We can give him all the help he could ever want. <laughs> oh, out of friendship, of course. Definitely not just for the grape juice. <laughs> that's you, Paimon. <laughs> oh, wait. 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 What? He's wearing the old outfit, is he? He is! Duh! Wait a minute. He's wearing his old outfit. Look at that. Is there a problem? Ah! <laughs> He's wearing it in the present time. Hey! <laughs> ah! Mr. G. Luke, you're wearing your old outfit again? And you've tied your hair back. You look so formal all of a sudden. <laughs> outfit? You've seen it before? Yep, it was by that leyline anomaly. That was your past self, right? Huh. I'm surprised it made such an impression. <laughs> Do you mind telling us about it? What happened back then? Why were you fighting there? The same reason as ever. Just stopping another Abyss Order plot. They launched an offensive on several fronts at once. Unfortunately for them, they were still no match for me. We were fighting in an area of Falcon Coast, and everything was recorded <laughs> by the unusually active ley lines. They must have become unstable again recently, causing them to let out all kinds of information from that time. Hence why you saw what you saw. Why didn't you stay there to keep guard? For starters, you only need to deal with the monsters, and the ley line deposit will stay dormant, as long as it isn't disturbed again. Oh, so we basically did it ourselves. Hand, if I'd done nothing at all, the Knights of Favonius would have taken over straight away. Knowing how they work, they'd be sure to send a large contingent to guard the site. Trying to keep Wouldn't it low-key? Wouldn't that have been a good thing? Depends. Most of the Knights are away on expeditions, so they don't have a lot of people to spare. If the Ley Line Anomaly was just a diversion tactic, the Abyss Order could have been poised to attack somewhere else entirely, while the Knights uh, were yeah. scrambling to send what limited forces they have to Falcon Coast. I get, anyway, I get what he's saying. I have no interest in talking to of the course. Of Savonius. <laughs> I prefer to get to the bottom of things myself rather than waste time negotiating with them. And it was easy enough for me to find out the Abyss Order's plans. Take a few Abyss Mages hostage and they soon start talking. <laughs> As for the Knights of Favonius, I've sent someone to enlist their cooperation where it's needed. Mm. So this is a joint initiative. 
almost sounds like you're doing the Knights of Avonius a favor. It's their job to handle situations like this. They ought to be present when things come to a head. I don't like working closely with the Knights of Favonius because of our differences in philosophy. But that doesn't mean would you we look can't at that? watch each other's backs when it counts. Wow. Seems like you have even more control over things now than you used to, P. Luke. Yeah. A lot of things have changed, I feel like, the since then. The best way to deal with any threat is to utilize all the force at your disposal. Anyway, thank you for your help. Adeline brought me up to speed with everything. In return, I have a gift for your trouble. Hey, wow, Great my gift. gift. <laughs> the packaging is so fancy. Oh, nice. <laughs> it must be really expensive. This is my personal favorite grape juice, made of the highest oh, quality. Oh, wow. I happen to have so a generous. batch, so I brought you a bottle to try. Damn. I didn't know you were such fans of grape juice. <laughs> Next time you want some, don't bother waiting for the discount. Just go down wow. to the cellar and help yourself. <laughs> That's a big deal. It's on the house. <laughs> Sheesh. Woohoo! gonna tell everyone we meet that we're VIPs at Don Winery. <laughs> this one bottle must be worth at least like fifty thousand mora. <laughs> and he gave it to us for free. Thank you so much, Master D. Luke. <laughs> if you're free tonight, you're welcome to stay for dinner. Adeline is already making it. Wow. Uh, there are, however, a few things I need to take care of before dinner time. Things that involve fighting? Yes. Passiveness is not my style. Though I had my suspicions at the start, everything I've come across so far in my investigation suggests that the Abyss Order was not behind this. Mm. Since this arose from natural causes, it's time to wrap things up. Mm. Um, so what should we do? Well, and for one more, and for the lot, we helped you look out. Right! Sure! <clears throat> After all, he did just give us this amazing grape juice. Wait, uh, no. Uh, what was it? After all, yeah. success are nine to one. <laughs> you must never lower your guard. <laughs> <laughs> well said. In that case, Let's get going. Okie dokie, Captain Pyro. You can take it a little easier this time. Come on, let's go. This is the final battle. Then we can put all this trouble behind us. I hope they, they let us use the look again as the character. That'd be fun. Look at that. I don't want any stop quality grape juice. Time to go. Oh, ang uh, bite ni Dilok ngayon, ha? <laughs> Very accommodating. A very big change of heart, it seems like. Nah, to be honest, he's always, probably always, he's always been like that. Kanyang kanyang tinatago ang kanyang bait. <laughs> After na ito siguro, if I don't get uh, enough primos, gawin, gagawin ko yung hangouts. Tsaka, so ano, para makapagpul pa tayo kay Hazo. <sighs> May ano pa eh. I don't know how long. 3 hours and 20 minutes. <laughs> oh hey! Whoa! Hello! I almost didn't see you here! Hello, Master Kai. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, Captain Kaya. I don't believe we were expecting you. Has something urgent come up? Oh, Adeline, don't be such a stranger. The Knights of Favonius have received word of another sighting of the Dark Knight hero. Now, the witness wasn't able to see where the suspect was headed. However, I just have a gut feeling that he's in the Dawn Winery area. <laughs> really? What can I say, Captain Kaya? You and the Dark Knight hero have never been seen in the same place at the same time. Nice. And you often show up at the Dawn Winery, just like the Dark Knight hero. So, is it safe to say that <laughs> you are the Dark Knight hero? <laughs> now that you mention it, it makes sense. I almost can't believe it. I'm talking about the legendary Dark Knight hero. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, Captain Kaya, but the Dawn Winery is having a fire safety inspection today. You'll have to come back another day. Seriously, shouldn't you at least ask me to stay for dinner as a courtesy? <laughs> <sighs> then again, I do have a pile of admin work waiting for me today. In that case, please pass a message on to D Luke for me. Tell him that the hazard zone has been established. The public shouldn't notice anything, and the enemy is unlikely to detect it right away. Captain Kaya, your words are as profound and enigmatic <laughs> as ever. I'm just afraid. Ay, nako. That means anything to me. Master is currently out at a business meeting with his commercial partners. I don't know where they are exactly. I will pass your message on to him word for word when he gets back, but I can't guarantee that the meaning behind the words. <laughs> will be I want to call one of But these are code words he grew up using. If he doesn't understand them, then perhaps it was a wasted childhood. Oh, by the way, is there anything new at the winery? While I'm here, I'd like to pick up some choice wine to take home. <laughs> Captain Kaya, you are too funny. You know we don't do retail. <laughs> Still, thank you so much for visiting. Alam na ni Kaya ang si Dilok si Dark yung Dark Knight here. Eh. Kukunwari yan lang itong mga kupal na ito. Anyway, that's a good thing na I walked out a little bit there bago ako umalis. <laughs> I would have missed this entirely if I didn't. Okay game, let's go. Where is... Nandito pala. All's well that ends well. <clears throat> Eto na! After image might. Yeah. I don't even I don't even need to use my other <laughs> my other uh, God, that was... Okay, now I can deal with it. They waste to the wicked. There. It's done. Huh. The ley line deposit will disappear before long. That battle was a lot of fun. All thanks to the power of teamwork. See? Even Captain Pyro needs his trusty sidekick sometimes. It can't be Master D. Luke saving the day by himself every single time. Many hands make light work. Sidekicks. Hmm. It's been a long time since I last worked with others. It's not so bad. If the opportunity arises, let's team up again in the future. Yeah. Nice. Acknowledgement from Master D. Luke. Okay, so... Sadly, we didn't get enough for another for another single pull but i will do my commissions now asan na ba ayan Defeat all opponents. Pung nago commission sa kadi to sa liwe, ang dami kong nakikita ano, mga chest na hindi ko pa nabuksan. <laughs> ah, katamad kasi mag-explore dito sa liwe dati. It's just so goddamn annoying. Kasi the places were so high up. But they were also so low down. 
Mas winner yung Pyro. Ano nang iya? Dai! Meron pa. Pipi pipi pipi. Get down from there. Yung kagi. <laughs> Full damage. Hmm. <laughs> Nice. <clears throat> neighbor. Hello. Tomstone. We time for take off. Oh, no, it's <laughs> Yan! Ayan dyan ka. Nice. Alright. So mukhang... Mag-hangouts nga muna tayo. Para makapag-pull ako kay Hazel. <laughs> Hindi ko makuha si Hazel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling na mas mahirap pa makakuha ng 4 star kaysa sa 5 star. <laughs> so far nakuha ko apat na ninggo ang isang Toma. <laughs> Akala ko eh, makakuha ka ng at least na isang Hazo among all of those eh kasi wala eh pero ninggo ang binigay sa akin eh. Someday. Whoa. What is this? Um, feeling ko nakita ko na yan dati pero hindi ko maalala kung ano yan. Feeling ko nga dapat ano eh, parang obligated na akong gawan ng team si Ningguang, pati si Chong yun eh. Kaya si Yunjin kasi halos C5 ko na yung dalawang yun eh. <laughs> yung tatlong yun eh. <laughs> Bruh. Oh shit, clone yan. Kage Bunshin. Good night. Good night, Grigor. Next. Hey, wait, wala. Ilan na dressin ko? Unti pa pala. Mamayang gabi ko pa pala maubos. Eh. Eh, actually, ilan, ilan na lang ba kailangan ko? Dalawa na lang din kailangan kasi ko kay, kay Aya. Kay. Kaya I probably don't need that much. Let's play. Time for takeoff. Twenty lang sapat na. Here we go. And you're done. Magic! Last one. Escort. Escort mission. Oh shit. I'm going to take damage. And game. Ah, I see. To break this. Fuck. Hindi mo tamaan. Yeah. 
Stop. Criminal scum. Boom. Oops, take na. Put that down. My apologies. Ooh. Oh shit. I know I'm a Boom! Here we go. Time for takeoff. It's a very useful event. Para sa mga ganito ang eh. overworld na commissions. <laughs> Thank you, long. Your problems are solved. Easy. All right. Nay, so ilan na? One seventeen. <laughs> Ko lang pare na lungkot. Ilan ko pa ng fifty? Ah, uh, ayah. Pagka uh, hangouts natin, makakuha ko ng more premiums kapag gumawa ko ng few more. You know, pag tinapos ko yung isang hangout event, makakuha ko ng ano, enough for a pool. Pretty sure. Ang nakakailang lang kasi kapag mag-farm ka ng hangout quest, eh, nakaka-boring. Nakaka nakaka-boring. Ang boring mag ano. Ang boring mag -antay. Kasi there's not that much happening. Kasi it's, it's just a lot of reading. Lot of reading and exposition, which is certainly not bad. Pero when the sole purpose of you just doing it is Thank to just get primos, I don't really get that much enjoyable. Down, AR fifty six, bingo. Hello, patay ang tran ano fragile resin. Welcome to the world of AR fifty six. Mga tatlong buwan pa ulit para makapag-57 naman. Hi. <laughs> um So I have one blue pool. Ito matagal-tagal pa ata yung ano kaya, yung 5 star ko dito sa PT. Kasi matagal-tagal pa. <laughs> Actually, yung abyss. Is para abyss. Ginawa ko siya kahap kagabi. Ang ang pinaka ano uh, 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 tinapos ko lang yung floor eleven, yung floor eleven chamber three ko. Tapos yung floor twelve hindi ko pa nasusubukan. Pero most likely hindi ko siya malate three star kasi tinray ko na siya last time eh, long last rotation ng abyss. Tinray ko na siya. Isa style lang nakuha ko. <laughs> so okay. Um, ano pa pwede kong gawin? Kanab nakabili na ako sa monthly reset eh. Ah, nga pala, yung resin ko nga pala. Uh, I have 120. So, tapos ang kailangan ko na lang kay Aya ka is uh, two. At least two battles with this perpetual mechanical array thing. Then, mal maasin ka siya sa level 90. Here we go. Wait, no, wait, 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 Mas fun to play. 
Thank you very much for liking this stream. Mas fun to play tong team na to with this and with these enemies eh. Deploy lang natin yan real quick. Get pretty quick clears with this, so it's pretty fun. <sighs> One of these days. Kailangan ko na rin i-farm si ano. Kailangan ko na rin mag-farm all, mag-start ulit mag-farm para kay child. <laughs> sobrang tagal na nang ano eh. Sobrang tagal na nang na-neglect. In the artifacts department, kahit level 19 na siya yung weapon, level 19 na rin siya. Almost triple crown, he's double crown by the way. <laughs> I'm a big child main. Pero I just never really got lucky with this artifacts. You know, I've been fucking farming them for so long. Nauna pa makakuha ng decent na artifacts si Ayaha kaysa kay, kay Child, which is so annoying. But I, anyway, yeah. Pep, 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 See? Two rotations. Okay. One more. Tapos, I guess I'll start farming again for... I have talents because I want level nine yung talents. Just for, I know, for for what's it called? For uh, completionist purposes. Okay, let's do a story quest. Say, what are we going to do? Ah, we're going to do something, right? Copium, talaga. Copium, na copium. Me, we're going to do something, talaga. Gawa ko na rin yung hanga ultimate ni Heizo. <sighs> Grabe, yun lang. 60, 120, 180. Yeah. Consume ko na most of the primas na nandito. Ay, ay, ay. Lungkot. Let's do that story quest. Yun, Jin. You have not reached certain endings? What do you mean? Of course, I've not read cert certain endings. Game, Ningguang tayo. Ah, Ningguang. <laughs> Yunjin. <laughs> Liu Adventures Guild. Nagawa ko na yung ano, yung Adventures, Adventures, yung story quest, ay yung story quest. <laughs> yung hangout event ni Cookie at saka ni ano. Ni... Ni Cookie at saka ni Hazo. Ayan, yun yung ginawa ko hapon. Ah, grabe. Grabe yung anto ko kahapon habang ginagawa ko yung kay Hazo. <laughs> <laughs> yung kay Cookie kasi ang ano eh, medyo, may, medyo maikli lang siya. Pero yung kay Hazo, napakahaba. Like, sobrang daming dialogue and stuff. Uh, it was, you know, I guess hindi lang ako masad na in the mood for like reading dialogue that time. But yeah, I appreciate it. Still. It was a good, it was a good hangout event. Hello. Can't you send someone any sooner? The clock is ticking, and I need this result ASAP. I'm sorry, but <gasps> we don't have any adventurers available at this instant. It's happened. Uh, your timing is most optimal. Allow me to introduce Yu Ning, manager oh. of the Yunhan Opera Troupe. She has commissioned the guild to... Traveler? Ugh, Yun Jin is always talking about you. Please, you've got to help us find her. Yun Jin is missing? Yep, she's gone and disappeared. Now of all times, just days away from the big performance. All she left was a short note. To whomsoever finds this letter, after some discussion about the Divine Maiden play with my friends, I find that there is still much to learn indeed. I have gone to Lingju Pass in hopes of gaining some inspiration. I will return within the day, so do not worry. Oh! 
this continues right after um continues right after Shanha's story quest the almost doesn't get to see Yunjin on stage they'll start tearing the place down I mean what am I supposed to do huh <laughs> she literally says she would come back That's what I said too but <laughs> when you're a mega star like Yunjin you gotta start taking things a little more seriously saying she'll be back doesn't give me a whole lot of reassurance when she's showing no regard for her own safety she can Why she can she find she can she can fight for herself changes. what if something happens to her what am I going to tell the audience worst case scenario she still has a vision yeah exactly well, then what if she gets into a scrape and hurts herself? She you guys so worry too scratch, much. <laughs> it'll be a loss to the whole nation. <laughs> As you can see, this is what we're up against. Would you be willing to accept this commission? Okay, for Yunjin. Oh, wonderful. Oh, thank the stars. Please, you've got to bring her back safe and sound. I'm sure she'll be fine, but I'll do it anyway. Yeah, where I say you Ling Ju pass. Uh, okay. Where are you? Yunjin is traveling. Hey, right, game. I haven't been in here in a while, I think. Maybe I have, I don't know. I forget. But seeing Liyue... This is quite comforting. Liyue is just a relaxing place in general. It's just super hard to explore. Oh. Whoa! You did this? <laughs> Monster attack! I guess I'm taking this fight. Holy shit! You did fucking doing? Ouch! Are you, are you okay? Are, are you hurt? It's you. I do apologize. I didn't see you there. Seriously? What brings you all the way up here? Oddly enough, I was just thinking of scheduling a meeting with you later. I didn't expect to run into <laughs> You're so oblivious. <laughs> uh, your manager sent oh, me. I see. So you knew sent you. <clears throat> I did tell her not to worry. Oh, well, you know. On this occasion, it seems I'm rather lucky you came. You've helped me avert a major catastrophe. Which was? I was so close to achieving the state of mind that Shenzhou was talking about. What state of mind? Remember what Shenzhou said about the divine damsel fighting against the evil monster? That in reality, she hadn't acted as courageously as the operatic rendition would have you believe. That it was simply a matter of life and death, and she chose self-preservation. Oh uh, yeah, I remember that. She later admitted that she preferred the version of events given in the opera, with its portrayal of a divine heroine sacrificing herself for others. Oh, so you were trying to get that feeling. It's kind of hard to do. This character is defined by her emotional complexity, and even uncertainty. So the more emotions I can experience for myself, the wider range I will have to draw in my performance. <laughs> Access to a different state of mind can help me provide a fresh interpretation of the character and her actions. Well, well surely it will take my acting skills to the next level. You can say that again. Okay. I was to take it slowly. Start by just dipping my toe, as it were. But mm. once I started, I just got completely drawn in. in. Ah, I see. I feel like I was so close to a breakthrough here. Uh. Want to try again? I'll join in too. Defeated an ancient god before. How am I supposed to experience <laughs> genuine danger if you're here with me? Oh well, I guess that makes sense. I suppose it's better to turn to the U.S. Harbor for now. I'll only end up putting you in an awkward position. Good 
<laughs> Very true. Alright. Time to go back to Liwe. Wait, 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 wait. Hopefully, we forgot about that other thing I was doing. <laughs> In level 90, ko na si Ayaka. Naantay ko lang yung timer neto na matapos. <laughs> Patulan na alala ko gagi. At ma carry the way na ako sa, sa hangot ni Yunjin Motek. Pagkatapos ni, ni Ayaka, ang i-assign ko naman is si Shangling. So, we'll get her to level 90. Tapos sunod si Venti. Then, I think? I, I, I don't know. I guess I'll work on child's artifacts after that. I don't know. Alright, <laughs> Gog. Oh, wait. Sana. In. Umina. Swerte ko sana kung magkakalapit yan. Teka na. Boom! <laughs> Hindi mo lang tumama yung araw ni Zelte. Yan. Nice. Oops. Uy! Gagi. <laughs> Ganda ba to? Pangit! Okay. May, may isa na akong ulit na level 19 character. Ascension! Level 6! about that <laughs> just do your thing girl just do your thing okay so hold on hand handguard hold on handguard ilang handguard ko lang ko nagfarm na rin ako ng talents ni Aya kay eh. kaya uh, I'm kind of fine with the talents pero eh, syempre school lang pa rin ako ng Gusto ko lang naman siya ma-level ma 9. Ma level nine. Hindi ko naman uh, intention na i-crown siya kasi she's not like my favorite character. She's just a super good DPS that I would like to have in my team. I mean that I would appreciate having in my team. Kasi a lot of her kit works with a lot of the characters that I have. So... It makes sense to do that. Because uh, even though I wanted Shao on my team, I want to use Shao a lot. I didn't have the right characters to make his uh, performance optimal, to say the least. So let's get those hand guards. What's that? I'm just saying, I don't have hand guards. Alongkot naman. 
Kagi, wala nga ata. Ayun, never mind. <laughs> Parang onte Holy shit. Alright, no, never mind. Madami. <laughs> Go tayo 30. Sampu. Thank you. Should be enough for two talents. You know. And summits. Ah, dalawa pala yung kailangan, no? Talaga? Dalawa pala yung kailangan? Kailangan ko na namang kalabanin si Ace, da? <laughs> Kapag ito putik na boss na yun. Oo nga, putik. Alright. Well. At least ascension level 6 na siya. Kailangan ko na lang pag-isipan is... Uh, my other uh, other character so far. Okay, so um, sa Genshin ayaka 90. Not check na yun. And ayaka 90 check. Talents. This place is pretty dead. So ang ina, gusto ko rin i-level na yun yung, ano niya, yung elemental skill niya. I feel like that's a bit too expensive. Ah. <sighs> I guess yeah, ano ko na lang. I level 9 ko na lang tong ult niya tapos yung uh, elemental skill niya. I'll stay ko na lang sa level 8 kasi ito lang naman yung parang big basic na part ng kit niya. Tapos ang kailangan ko na lang i-upgrade is I guess yung artifacts niya. Uh, I don't know. I feel like this is fine. Kasi ang ano ya, ang I feel like ang low investment ng Blizzard Strayer na set. You don't need a lot of You don't need a lot of crit rate for that. Is so good siguro na mag-stack ng crit damage and stuff. Yeah. Someday I'm hoping for like Shanha para I can make this team happen or Shanha or Ganyu, I think would be would be that would be nice, but I feel like I feel like Shanha would be would would be a better option, even though Gani is really strong. Because I feel like I can just make a, a separate team with Ganyu, or I could make Ganyu DPS. Tapos ayaka. I mean, yeah, anyway, <clears throat> either way, it'd be a good thing. Because Ganyu is like really good and versatile. <laughs> Can you put a few more adventurers on the case or something? The clock's still ticking away. Please have faith in him. Ah, they've returned. Yunning, we're back. <gasps> Yunjin, are you okay? Are you hurt? <laughs> Do you need to go to Boo Boo Pharmacy? Ah, uh, no, I'm fine. You don't need to worry. When it's time to go on stage, I'll be there. <sighs> Look, I get it. You like to go out exploring. That's fine. But do you really have to go off thrill-seeking this close to the show? You have to take better care of yourself, uh. okay? For all our sakes. For the opera troupe and for your audience. <laughs> We're just lucky we have a traveler to help out. What if something had happened to you, huh? What would I say <laughs> to our audience, hmm? Well... I would say the best way to make it up to our audience is to give them the best performance we can. Per. Don't you agree? <clears throat> While I'm off stage, as long as there is something, anything I can do to improve my acting ability, even the slightest amount, I can't pass up the opportunity. You know, you... you... Ugh, I don't know what to say anymore. Traveler, please, you tell her. No. <laughs> so, what's your honest opinion? You made a good point, Yunjin. I'm glad you agree. <clears throat> right. Then let's get preparing. Hey, hey, traveler, get over here. <laughs> You've only just managed to bring Yunjin back. Now you're taking her straight back out again? What's the big idea? She can handle the herself. Show is just days away. Please, if not for me, then for the sake of the opera troupe, I'm begging you. Help me convince her that at the end of the day, she's gotta fall in line. It's not gonna be an easy task. <sighs> well, okay, maybe that's asking the impossible. <clears throat> but at least 
try and keep her distracted. Please, just keep her occupied until the next show. No more thrill-seeking. Oh. What are you two talking about? If it doesn't involve me, I think I'm going to... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I think my voice over there on Okay. Okay, okay. Ingat kayo. Sorry, I didn't read the chat. Wasn't appearing on my my logs here for some reason. But ingat kayo. Thank you for coming by to watch the stream. <laughs> balik ulit na maya. <laughs> As well, I'll probably still be here. Bago maya pag balik nyo. Ingat kayo. Ingat kayo. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> I'll be here. Hang on, let me just... Let me just check this, because for some reason it's not appearing in the live chat. That is strange. I should refresh the page or something. Ayo, okay. Uh, I don't know what, uh, I think nag 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 echo yung game sounds because malapit ako sa microphone and my headphones are echoing the game sound, but I just have to <coughs> go a little bit away. <laughs> you know what? It does involve you, actually. The traveler was saying, uh, that, uh, Come on, help me stall her. <laughs> but I don't want to. She wants. She can do what she wants. <laughs> oh. Well, what do you need from me? I want to become an actor. You want to become an actor? <laughs> uh, you do? Oh. <laughs> yes, of course. Of course he does. He was just telling me that he's interested in exploring his dramatic <clears throat> side and uh, would like you to give him some coaching. <laughs> sure. Right. Good. Well, let's not beat around the bush. <laughs> Traveler, your master awaits. H hold on. I don't know if I'm really <laughs> ready to take on students yet. <laughs> Please, <laughs> this is the day you've dreamed of, isn't it? You certainly talk about it enough. And look, now he's here, ready and willing. <clears throat> okay, okay, I get it. You can stop now. <laughs> <sighs> I am delighted that you wish to study the performing arts from me. But the issue is, before you could become my apprentice, I'd have to get approval from the founders that do an initiation ceremony. There just isn't time for all that, that right is true. Now. So, for now, I'll just teach you a few basics. Informally, one friend to another, there's no need to call me master. What about a teacher? Um, what? Don't you think that's a bit old-fashioned? <laughs> Let's work on that later. Until we settle on an appropriate title, just call me by my name. Okay, Yunjin. Let's meet tomorrow morning on the bridge by the sea at Feiyun Slope. I'll do my best to prepare a good first lesson for you. Okay. Ooh, what a relief. Oh, we just have to wait. First glimpse of meaning. Wait for the next morning. Six to eight. <coughs> Where I'm from, if we didn't keep moving, we'd freeze to death. I don't want to get a snack. <laughs> Literally. I feel a little hungry. Maybe I'll get it after this. Hello, Yunjin. Oh, good. You're right on time. Mm. Punctuality is an essential quality if you want to make it big in the acting world. Without it, you won't be able to keep on top of all the work you need to do each day. So, where should we start? Well, first I'd like you to answer me one question. How many pigeons flew from the bridge when you were passing Shit! Through? I wasn't counting! <laughs> Fuck. Um... I didn't see all of them, I just saw six, I guess. Close. It 
was seven. Ah, damn. Uh, anyway, the point of this question was to test your powers of observation. Hey, at least I was eyes close. <laughs> of emotion. You must train your eyes to be bright, active, and strong. Okay. Watching the birds fly, hover around, and come into land will not only exercise your eyesight, but also cultivate attentiveness. Nice. Indeed, my own daily training routine starts right here. I watch the pigeons to train my eyes, and I sing to the tide to train my voice. So next I need to train my voice? All in good time. Grasping all the techniques involved in opera singing and posture is not an overnight process. Mm. Let's start from the very beginning, with some general theories to help you better understand the concept of performance. General theories? Of course! I am in written correspondence with performers from many nations in Tibet, which has rather broadened my perspective on this topic. For example, hmm, let's start with something simple. How would you perform yourself? Mm. Try to relive the events of that day when you were battling against an ancient god and fighting off the Fatui. What can you see? What did you feel? Now, I want you to look out at the ocean in front of you and recall the raging waves and the atmosphere of peril from that day. Very immersive. Breath. Now, gradually, embrace the scene, immerse yourself in it, and let all the emotions back in. The camaraderie of fighting alongside trusted good, companions. Good. So that's how you felt. Next, I'd like you to focus on the goal you wanted to achieve at that time. To protect Liyue and my friends. Good, yes. Use that. Okay. Good. Now, all of this overwhelming <laughs> emotion is welling up inside of you, and Singing. I want you to let it all out. All at once. Go. Ha! Oh. Wrong. This is all wrong. There's no, <laughs> no soul. Granted, the character you are trying to portray is your own self, but your performance God, didn't do the same justice at all. I couldn't hear you fighting for your life while gargantuan waves were crashing all around <laughs> you. What I heard was the sound of someone doing vocal exercises by the beach on a calm day. If I may, we are by the beach, and it is a calm day. Here's the thing. <laughs> when you're acting, it's not only about getting into character. You also have to recreate the scene in your mind as vividly as you can. Now, I appreciate that you did actually experience this particular scene for yourself, but maybe conjuring up specific <clears throat> details of your surroundings at the time is a little too advanced for novices. Well, it was a pretty rare experience, even for me. Mm, you're right. <clears throat> if we were looking for an environment to help evoke the emotions you felt at the time, I suppose we could try again. <laughs> another field, at Guyun Stone Forest. N no need to go all the way out there. Uh, too far away? Hmm. Don't worry, I was just thinking aloud. Besides, even at Guyun Stone Forest, we'd still have trouble recreating the state of the sea that day. <laughs> Let's try something else. Come with me to the suburbs just north of Li Yue Harbor. Sounds closer than Guyun Stone Forest, at least. You've got no objections. <clears throat> Let's head off. I want to make a team with Yun Jin sometime. I don't know what I'm going to do. normal attacking na, na characters yung, yung, yung support. Niya. Like Yoi Mia, Razor, I guess. Yeah, I'm going to. Something similar to those. So, what I've seen though. The battle you fought on the Jade Chamber was a very strange set of circumstances, even for someone like you. It's quite normal that you can't get into character just like that. I know it's hard to recreate every facet of the experience in your mind, but what you could try is to replace the foes you faced in that scenario with ones you are much more familiar with. What do you mean, replace? I'll give you an example. Let's say you're performing a scene where your character experiences the grief and pain of a death, but you yourself have never experienced this kind of tragic loss before. Well, 
you can replace death ah, with another okay. more familiar scenario that evokes a similar sense of grief and pain for you such as mm, my sister you got trying to find a treasure <laughs> oh never mind <laughs> only to finally reach it then find it filled with cabbages and radishes <laughs> oh the pain the pain of it all <laughs> ah, now you're catching on action scenes work the same way Perhaps the experience of facing an ancient god is a challenge to recreate. But if you're replaying the kind of actions you perform every day, you just need to let go and your subconscious will guide you through. Oh yeah. Come, show me how you normally Okay, fight. nice. You can start with monsters nearby. Alright. <laughs> I probably, I probably don't need to. They're coming. Just do what you normally do in this situation. Boom. Enhanced animal module 70. Wait a minute. But I feel like I'm attacking so fast. Do I have Yundin, Yundin's buffs right now? I feel like I have Yuntin's buffs right now. I'm attacking so fast. Why do they never miss? Ouch! God damn. Hey, come close. Your beach. Come on. The look. Oh, that was wonderful. Such deft and fluid movements. <sighs> Just like a real adventurer. I am a real adventurer. Let's perform the scene again now, while the battle is still fresh in your mind. Eugene gets set up nearby. Look at those red-clad scarecrows. But I want you to see them instead as those Fatui who brandish the sacrificial knives. Now, let us reenact the battle on the Jade Chamber. It's All okay right. if you can't recall the events clearly. You can just replace them with the movements you are most familiar with. And... Attack! <clears throat> the three Adepti are man of the <laughs> Do not let the Fatui disturb their work. <laughs> Let's do it. Rawr. Oh, these Scarcrows are pretty hard. Who's next? Oh, there's just one. Okay. Uh, how did it go? I can't fault your movements in terms of technique, but Fatui are larger than most monsters. I don't think it was a conscious decision, but you were aiming a little too low, and you also didn't strike with enough force. Overall, it was just lacking that sense of being in the heat of the battle. Okay. Veteran practitioners of this acting method are able to adjust and embellish their real life experience enough so that it makes an adequate substitute for the scene they are trying to portray. Mm. But adjusting deep-rooted habits to adapt them for the stage, that's no easy task. Yeah, it doesn't sound easy. But still, this was only your first time trying this method. And all things considered, I think you've done quite well. Thanks, Yunjin. But judging from your movements, I think this next method might suit you a little better. What is it? Choreograph every aspect of your onstage performance in advance. Every movement, every facial expression, even your emotions, and rehearse it thoroughly. You can reference existing characters from opera or imitate similar people from your own life. Mm. In short, you want to pin down every detail of the character you want to portray in your mind, and then work through them methodically and find ways to bring them out. I guess I can kind of understand, but yeah, I don't well, fully understand. In your case, what you need to do is imitate your past self. Mm -hmm. Think of yourself not as you, but as somebody outside this world <laughs> controlling your every move. <laughs> ah, another fourth wall break. That's even harder to understand. <laughs> it's complicated to explain, but once you give it a try, I think you'll get the hang of it. Okay, how about we start by setting a simple scenario. The Fatui in red want to attack the Guizhong Ballista, and the heavyweight guards in blue want to try and stop you. What you want to do is evade all the blues and go straight for the reds. Okay. Yes, I think that sums it up. There's an open area to the north. 
I'll set up a stage for you. When you've finished rehearsing everything in your mind, come and find me. Okay. So I just have to avoid the blues and go straight for the reds. It's basically what she's saying. Yep. Shouldn't be too hard. Oh, this place. No time to lose. Yeah, I'm gonna change teams. Well, have you finished rehearsing? Uh, Ray, I think. Don't you rush. Take your time. I shall guide you with my voice. Thanks, Yunjin. Oh, hi. Call the red scarecrows for the wedding blue ones. so hard to aim. Come on, Ether, you can do it. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Chinese opera is very interesting. You managed to bring out more of that fearless hero quality that time. <laughs> My hard work coaching you has finally paid off. Thanks, Yunjin. This method might not sound as sophisticated and exciting as the first two, but it's the most popular choice for teaching beginners. Rigorous rehearsal and vocal training is at the core of this school of thought. It even works <laughs> on those whose performance lacks emotional depth at first. Goddamn. As long as you practice diligently, with time, you will achieve mastery one way or another. Mastery. Either your finely honed skills become a good substitute for innate talent, or the process of honing your skills cultivates genuine talent within you. Yeah. People say that when you truly master the art of singing, <laughs> even the birds Disney and princess buff. will be drawn to your song. That's amazing. I know. I guess I still have a long road ahead of me when it comes to developing performer. <laughs> Why on earth did you start with this one? Well, because... Even if I had, you wouldn't have put your heart into it. <laughs> it's been written on your face this whole time. <laughs> <clears throat> Just try and keep her occupied until the next show. Was it that obvious? <laughs> Don't forget that acting is my bread and butter. Did you really think I wouldn't be able to see through it? Oh, Still, Yunjin. This is a rare opportunity, and I hope you have at least learned something from it about the beauty of the performing arts. Of course. The operatic tradition carries countless historical memories within it. As long as the art is kept alive, the voices and faces of bygone heroes can be recreated on the stage for generation after generation. Well said. I hope that your voice and your face will make their mark on Li Yue Opera too. My voice and face? Yes. As well as coaching you today, I have also been closely observing every move you make. Do you remember the basics of the final method? Uh, imitate similar people from your own life? Don't you think there's a striking similarity between you, who stood up for Li Yue and fought off a god of old, and the divine damsel in the play? Yes, you can With say that. With a reference in mind, I'm sure I can finally make a breakthrough in creating my own adaptation of this character. Hmm. So, what was your first method to go and put yourself in danger? Because as far as I'm concerned, the immersion method, drawing on life experiences, and imitating others are all valuable acting methods. Nice. Even if my every movement is rehearsed to perfection, Ooh. I can't move the audience without conveying emotion. And even if I fully master the character's emotions, a little choreography will help make the performance more polished and appealing. Whatever the method is, as long as it offers something that can improve my performance, 
I will always give it a try. See you in Jin for you. trying them out as well. It means a lot to me. Of course. And congratulations on making it to the end of your first acting class. Heh, <laughs> when's my graduation ceremony? Graduation ceremony? <laughs> I'm afraid that's still a long way in the future. For now, I hope to incorporate part of you into my performance of the Divine Damsel. But one day, I hope to write an opera all about you. Aww. When that day comes, I hope you will be able to join me on stage and give me some constructive criticism. Of course. It'll take a lot of hard work to reach the point where you're ready to go on stage. And I'll be here <laughs> to keep you on track every step of the way. You're a demanding coach. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> so old-fashioned. Then again, I suppose I will have to give you a lot of instruction along the way. And if I won't let you call me master, teacher, or coach, I've got to think of something you can call me. Master. Oh, I've got it. <laughs> You kick mentor. Ah. What do you think? Yeah, that's nice. Ah. Man, these are cute. These are cute. Train a little hard as day. So someday he might perform in the same stage. All right, that is twenty. I think that's twenty. Primos. Uh. Twenty primos. Yep, that's twenty. Ah, uh, ilan po kailangan ko para mag-single pull. Napaka-unti na lang talaga. Ah, 2 hours 32 minutes. <laughs> Tatlo na lang! Tatlo na lang! Oh my god, tatlo na lang kulang ko. I get these done. Game, gawin natin ito. Pansin ko, pag sa mga hangout events, tinake up na talaga nila yung ano, parang visual novel na kind of form. Uh, nag, nag lilipat lipat lang ng frame every time na yung magsasalita. And it's always just the characters who are in focus, which is, which, is, which is pretty nice. It's a different thing from what you usually see, pero at the same time, it's not my favorite kind of gameplay. Can you put a few more adventurers on the case, sir? Please have faith in ending. <gasps> you... I'm just gonna skip the rest of this because I'm not going to take better care of it. Well, while I'm off, you know, you so. Ultimately, safety should exactly. come first. Exactly. There just you go. Think of all the people coming from far and wide just to show you their support. <sighs> Why do you make it sound like they are coming to see me? <laughs> And not the show. <laughs> well, same difference, isn't it? Uh, I don't think so. They seem quite <laughs> different to me. Not a lot of them are coming here to uh, way, watch Yunjin, though. You're quite right. I mustn't let down our audience, especially those who came from afar. And I certainly mustn't make you come out <laughs> looking for me again. <laughs> so I suppose I will put my training exercises on hold for a while. Whew. I'm glad to know that the brightest star in my troop is finally going to start <laughs> listening to reason. <sighs> I'm going to head back and see how the set is coming along. Don't go disappearing on me again. <sighs> All right. I'll head back and do some rehearsing. <laughs> it's no substitute for first-hand experience, but it should still help me iron out a few issues. It's also much safer than first-hand experience. <laughs> Speaking of which... I haven't even thanked you properly for saving me. Yeah, if you're, you're a the the ruin hunter. Come and find me at Hayu Tea House. Okay. They didn't even tell us which tea house it was, just tea house. I wait for the performance to end. Do not pwedeng panoorin. Shame. Shame. Shame on these developers. Charot. Uh, wait. Oh, the next day. Okay. Just gotta wait for it. <laughs> gotta wait for this again. <laughs> 
off to wait for this again. Okay. The time? Yes, indeed. The Heyu Tea House. Sigebet. Right above here. Oh, the Hey UT house. Have I have I been here before? Yeah, I think I hopped on a hundred before, like in one of the story quests. I think might have been in the Elan's story quest. No, wait, no, 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 it wasn't. One to take off the bucket list. Ah. <laughs> here we go. Liyue Opera is really something, but Liyue Opera performed by Miss Yon. I may spin crystal no, that's that's something else. Really, performance? I've never seen anything like it before in my life. Your reputation is well deserved. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fads. <sighs> well, I had the pleasure of seeing the talented Miss Yun on stage many a time in the past, but the songs still sound fresh and new every single time. It's been barely a few days since I last saw you perform. But once again, Yun Jin, <clears throat> you've progressed by leaps and bounds. Oh, you're far too kind, both of you. I'm still new to the profession, but I promised myself when I joined the troupe that I would strive to develop myself as a performer every day. And I wouldn't be where I am now without everyone's faithful support. Nonsense, you're too humble, Miss Yun. You're a major celebrity. Major Liyue celebrity. Heard the name Yun Jin. <laughs> in the circles I move in, anyone who says they've never seen Yun Jin on stage is at risk of getting laughed out of business. <laughs> ah, I mean, that's a little... As it happens, <laughs> I have a business meeting at the Xinyue kiosk with a client who is also a big fan of yours. So, <clears throat> I was wondering if you'd perhaps like to join us for the No, meal. thanks. Oh, uh, me too. I put the table at the Leoli Pavilion and was hoping you might join me. No, thanks. Oh, I'm terribly sorry to both of you, but <laughs> I won't be able to make it. I'm very grateful for the invitations, but I'm afraid uh, I already have arrangements for this evening. <laughs> Isn't that right, traveler? Yep, here I am. <laughs> okay, you have plans, but uh, you're really gonna pass this up. I mean, you can always reschedule. How dare you! you. Like you're Am I really so famous in Leeway? Well, I <laughs> guess it's not going to work out today then. <laughs> Maybe another day, Miss Yoon. Huh, they took off pretty quick. <laughs> Do they know something I don't? <laughs> I guess I'll be leaving too. Wouldn't want to cramp your style. Take care, both of you. Sorry that I can't see you off. Mao Tsai. Mao Tsai is a corrupt ass <sighs> person. Thanks for coming to my rescue. Again. This is some, some weird stuff. You're a national treasure. Even Gentry Mao Tsai is in awe of you. <laughs> I feel a little sorry for Xinyue Kiosk in the Uli Pavilion. I just hope the food won't go to waste. Well, why don't, go to the, why don't we go to Shinyue Kiosk? I don't think we'd be able to get a seat this late, but it's fine. I have a better place we can go. Let's head downstairs. I owe you a big thank you tonight. Oh, okay. Oh, gotta take this first. Yeah, take that. Boom, boom. I don't bam. I don't know. Wait, I want to see what they're saying. What an angelic Just wonderful. Oh no, I'm late for my meeting. You had a meeting at this late? The whole voice of an angel. The moment Yun Jin got on the stage, it took me. Nice.
Miss Yoon? Oh, well, oh <laughs> my friends. I um <clears throat> I have just a few questions, if you don't mind. Hey, get back here! Oh, ditzy girl, you don't have a clue what you're doing. Are you a journalist? If you'd like to arrange an interview, you'll have to liaise with my manager. Sorry, Miss Yun. Don't mind her. She's just new and still learning the ropes. We'll leave you alone. Miss Yoon, I'm interested to know why you added <laughs> the dance to the scene Very where eager, the huh? damsel makes her appearance. Hmm? You... you noticed that? Yes. Based on the original script, that scene would see your character perform the Adeptus Walk. But the addition of the silk dance meant that the whole way you carried yourself was so much more... so much more... Animated. Yes, yes, <laughs> but delicate and graceful like a crane. Uh, oh, sorry. Which publication are you from? <laughs> How come I haven't met you before? Oh, uh, I, well. Ah, yeah, we're from the Steambird. I am Boy Yi, the editor-in-chief. This young lady is sure you one of my journalists. We were based in Fontaine. Just recently oh, we made I the see. move back to Liyue. Oh, I see. You're from the Steambird. Then it's no wonder. Your journalist has clearly done her research. Th that's very kind of you, but really, <laughs> my level of knowledge is very basic compared to yours. Hey, Miss Yoon is throwing you a bone here. Make the most of it, okay? Talk to her! Talk to her! Actually, I'm afraid there's somewhere I need to be. <laughs> and I'd really need to clear this interview with my manager. Uh oh! It looks like this will be a different uh memory as well, right? Make the most of it. You may as well talk to them. But what about our plans? I'm interested to hear your story too. Really? Okay, sure. Oh, thank you, thank you so much, Miss Yoon. Great, thank you both kindly. Let's find a quiet place and get this interview underway. I see. So that's why you added the silk dance in this scene. Yes, exactly. Doing it this way not only allows for more physicality in my movement, it also means I can make better use of the stage and transition into the scene more quickly. Ah, okay. So there was even more to it than I thought. So... Wouldn't it make sense to contrast this with the Dong Tong Appassionado section that comes directly afterward <laughs> by making the latter a little more sophisticated? Hmm. I think I know which section you're talking about. Ah, sorry, sorry. What am I saying? This is a fixed formula, isn't it? My suggestion would completely break the format. No, it's okay. It's an interesting idea for sure. I'll give it some thought. Thanks for the suggestion. <gasps> really? Wow, I'm so honored. <laughs> this conversation is way beyond me. Yeah, I'm um, half uh, listening. Uh, Shuyun, maybe it's time to move on to some of the things our readers would like to know about. Hmm? Oh, okay. Um, I was also going to ask for your opinion on the set and the costumes. <clears throat> Yes, well, I'm sure Miss Yun has countless pearls of wisdom she could share on her chosen craft. <laughs> but, uh, not all of our readers are quite so, uh, artistically literate, shall we say. A, a, a lot of them really just want to know more about you. You know, what does Yun Jin do when she is off stage? Hmm? Excuse me? When I'm off stage? Uh, you know. You're a major celebrity, and a lot of our readers are interested to know what life is like for you. What kind of place you live in, what kind of things you eat, clothes you wear, things you buy. It's some, side of things. some normal a stuff, you know. Life. Um, besides rehearsing, a day in my life isn't really any more interesting than anyone else's. Nonsense, of course it is. Just think how many people were at your show earlier. They come from all over just to show their support. In fact, a relative of mine has a daughter who's been saying she wants to broaden her horizons recently. She's been looking for a chance to give you a jade hairpin as a gift. Hmm? Mm. Oh. 
It's against the rules of the opera troupe to accept private gifts from patrons. Hmm. Could someone out there be accepting gifts for the troupe under false pretenses? That doesn't sound good. get Yun Ning to look into it. Um, I, I mean, it, it wasn't a big deal. Just something she said. Uh, forget I brought it up. <laughs> So, I saw Gentry Maltsai and the Snezhnayan gentleman come down from upstairs. Are they patrons of your shows, too? So, what are your thoughts on Snezhnaya and the Fatui? Huh. Ugh, I'm sorry. This is my first interview, and my notes are becoming a total mess. Some really stupid questions now. Pause and reorganize them a little. Otherwise, I'll never be able to work all this into an article. <laughs> uh, Mr. Boy, maybe you should take a look too. Don't be ridiculous. Stopping an interview halfway through to organize your notes? What are you talking about? Hey, hey, hey. all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, Miss Yun, we'll just be a moment. Don't do that. That's some weird. <laughs> that is some. That's some unrelated questions, bruh. Are you sure you want to continue? I'm fine. It's not the first time I've been asked questions like these. The last time it happened, Yunning stopped the interview for me. Mm -hmm. But the next day, the tabloids were full of articles like "Dramatic Exit," "Yunjin Storms Out of Interview," <laughs> "My and God," "Bloody Da <laughs> Opera Star is Too Good for Our Questions." <sighs> yeah. So from then on, Yunning said all interview requests have to go through her. I used to think I could hold the troop together just by putting on a good performance. But now, I have to make sure I concentrate on my actions off stage too. I saw a lot of the <sighs> I saw a lot of the audience on the way over here. Many of them found your performance very moving. Oh, you mean Fan Arya and that crowd? I cherish them as members of my audience too. But there aren't many people like them who can appreciate all the nuance in a single viewing. How did Shuryun end up working with an editor like that guy? Something feels wrong there. Yeah. Oh, they could be back at any moment, so I should stay here for now. But could you go look into it for me? No problem. If you find out anything, come straight back here and let me know. I think they're making some weird expose or something. Or maybe they're not actually from the Steambird. Cruel to Miss Yoon. Shh, keep your voice down. Whatever you got to say, it can wait until we're out of. They're not actually interviewers, aren't they? They're not from an actual publication. I feel like that's what's happening here. <sighs> what's wrong with you? Why can't you get it into your head? Quit asking dull questions and start thinking about how to win over our readers. Do I make myself clear? They really don't care about making her feel comfortable. I mean, that guy doesn't, but the but Shir Shiri seems like she's Shiri seems like she's very interested in. I don't in... think you realize what a golden opportunity you have here. How many journalists would give anything they had to trade places with you right now? Huh? Ever think about- Fuck! <laughs> Why did he turn around like that? That's so stupid! Fuck! Now I have to do that one again. Hey, sorry, I was dumb. I couldn't catch up with them. I see. Well, don't worry. It's okay. It's just a bit of a shame that I didn't get to talk with Shuryun for longer. She genuinely understands yeah, she does. and has a passion for it. That's not something you can act. If I had the chance to talk with her more in depth, it could well provide me with some fresh inspiration. Actually, no, this was what's in your mind, but Yoon okay. Yoon Jean, did you agree to another interview without notifying me? I don't think they're coming back. These tabloid types are total scumbags, all of them. <laughs> Who knows what innocent detail he might end up turning into the next big scandal. We didn't say anything, sure, though. Nothing might have come of it today, but who knows where it'll go tomorrow. 
That boy, you guys, so scumbag, definitely. <laughs> one fell swoop. Who knows when this is going to end? <sighs> I'm sorry. I was careless on this occasion. Well, wallowing isn't going to solve anything. Come on, go tell everyone in the troop to be extra cautious during this time. <sighs> Geo Lord, bless us. Spare us any more offstage drama. <laughs> No, she's taken away. A shame that the road is rocky. It looks like Yunjin will be busy for a while. No, we gotta get Yunjin back. Right, so I can definitely finish this one. I just need to do it better. Here we go. Right. I'll do you proud, Yunjin. and start thinking about how to win over our readers. Do I make myself clear? Need to stay here because they're just gonna like look back. I don't think you realize what a golden opportunity you have here. How many journalists would give anything they had to trade? Shut up! I don't have anywhere to hide. Huh? Ever <laughs> think about that? You, you just don't get it. Miss Yun has put her heart and soul into Mother Stop. Stop yelling in public. Or do you want Miss Yun to hear about all the lies you're spreading about her? What? <gasps> Me? You're the one making everything up. Ah, well, you sure seem pretty happy chatting to her, so don't act like you ain't a part of this. And don't forget the contract you signed. Ah, uh, come. We'll continue our little chat over there. You need to listen and learn, young lady. I, journalists. I... Journalists, right? They got that again? I think that was all we needed, right? Are you ready to stop whining yeah. now? Do you have any idea how rare an opportunity like this is for a small-time paper like ours? Just think of the sales if we can get an exclusive. <laughs> We'd have enough to cover your salary for two lifetimes. Stupid. But what about us pretending to be from the steam? Oh bird? yeah, she. Don't they aren't from the steam bird. Out? <laughs> you really think she still would have talked to you if I hadn't told that little white lie? Hmm? Besides, what have you got to be afraid of? As long as we make it sound like an eyewitness account, how will she be able to refute it? Heck, if she actually presses the issue, I'll probably have to thank her for keeping it current for me. <laughs> Fucking integrity. <gasps> Non-existent. I will not let you treat Miss Yun like this. Journalistic integrity. I don't know Great. I think she is anyway. Oh, I sang a couple of shows, so now I'm a national superstar. Give me a break. <laughs> no one wants to read about your sopranos or your falsettos. We give the readers what they want. That's how this business works. Case in point, that blonde guy seemed to be getting along pretty well with Yun Jin. There's definitely a story there, even if there isn't. <laughs> That's enough. I'm reporting you to the Millilith. Report me? What for? Libel? Identity theft? <laughs> Good luck with that. I haven't written anything. Where is your proof? I... I... You'd better tread carefully, Missy. First you neglect your own duties, and now you're trying to get in the way of mine? You I'm gonna get in the way of both of yours. You know full well the consequences. If you sabotage this interview, I will make sure you lose everything you have. I will ruin you. You understand? That's blackmail. Why? Why did I sign that contract? Need to get you out. Uh, oh, okay, there's two more things here. Uh, I should stay hidden for now and check in with you and Jin. Well, think very carefully about what you're going to do. This is a rare opportunity. 
Now, I need to think how to phrase these interview questions. You... Uh, hey, wait! Oh, hi. I don't have to check in with them right now. We can plan ahead with Yunjin with our covert information. Hello. Did you find anything out? Well, yeah, so much of shit happened. I see. I knew there was something fishy about that editor in chief, but this is a bigger plot twist than I expected. Should we report it to that Millilith? Not yet. All he's done so far is ask a few questions. There's nothing in print yet. The Millilith wouldn't be able to do anything even if we got them involved. Besides, if we rush to report him now, it's only going to give him more material to write about. It can't be the first time they've done this. You're right. But tabloids like theirs never have permanent offices and printing presses. The moment they hear anything, they'll disappear without a trace. And you've got no chance of catching them. I'm actually more concerned about another detail you told me. Would you be willing to do me another favor? I want to send a letter to that journalist. Sure, leave it to me. Great, thank you. Let's go find Sher Sher Yoon. Sher Yoon. Oh, the editor should be here soon, so I'll stay here to deal with him. I'll have to rely on you to deliver the letter. If everything goes well, we should be able to get some breathing room for a while. Okay, I wonder what you have planned, but we'll find out in a bit. I don't know why, but my game is like lagging crazy right now. I'm on 60. Man, yeah, my, my FPS is like 30 for some reason. I don't know if I'm drunk or ever, if anything, but this is weird. Weird. Do you think contracts are just bits of paper? If we weren't on a tight deadline, you'd better believe I'd fire you right here on the spot. Hmm. You will stay here and reflect on your actions if you know what's good for you. Sorry, but I'm not babysitting you anymore today. Oh, what am I going to do? I got you, home. I got you, homie. One who was with Miss Yun earlier. Yunjin wrote this letter for you. Oh, really? Miss Yun wrote me a letter? Oh, I'll read it right away. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> wow. Really? I can't believe this. What does the letter say? Miss Yun says that under Liyue law, any penalty charge I have to pay may not substantially exceed the amount of my salary. Uh huh? You can't have a labor contract that would completely bankrupt the employee in the event of a breach. Mm. It's not legally binding. <laughs> so not only can he not get any money off of me, I can take this contract to the Ministry of Civil Affairs and blow the whistle on him. Hell yeah. <laughs> I didn't think about any of this when I was job hunting. I just signed the contract without a second thought. This way you gotta read your contracts, guys. Yun was all about opera. Who would have thought she was such a legal expert, too? She's quite amazing. <sighs> if only I hadn't gone out of my way to get Miss Yun's attention in the first place, none of this would have happened. You can I say that again. I expected to end up with Miss Yun helping fix my problems. <laughs> Can you lead me to their base of operations? Well, Mr. Boye says I'm still on probation, so he won't tell me where their work location yeah. is. Yep. Plus, I give all my draft articles straight to him, so I don't have anything in the way of evidence. What a calculating, conniving guy. But the letter says that my statement and the contract are enough to get the Millilith looking into it. Okay, so and we can... Ms. says so. I'm sure she must be right. Let's go confront him right now. I'll be I'll be sure to have him um have him in my sights as soon as he tries to run. I think I just need to restart my computer. I don't know <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but the game does not look like 60 FPS right now, but as a stream it looks fine. <laughs> 
Unless you had any more questions? <laughs> well, well, what can I say, Miss Yun? You have so many wonderful qualities. Well, let's not quit while the ball's rolling, huh? Otherwise, I'll think of something I didn't ask later, and by then, it'll be too late. So, um, hey, where's that, uh, friend of yours who was here earlier? You don't know who the fucking That's traveler cool. is? <laughs> Come on. Not intentionally avoiding the interview, surely. <laughs> I'm right here. You're finally back. This poor gentleman's been waiting for Oh, you. how sad. You're with Shuryun? Hey, what's going on here? Hey, Shurgun, don't forget the contract you signed. Oh, funny. That contract's just what we came to discuss. The traveler clued me in. This contract you made me sign? It isn't worth the paper it's written on. <laughs> isn't worth the paper it's written on? Don't be ridiculous. It's all there. Clear as day. Don't you think I did my research? Research? Oh, so you're a news editor. But you also have an interest in law? Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. She, she, she's new, and she's making a fool of herself. She doesn't get how this all works. My apologies. Now, uh, back to our interview? No, it's okay. In fact, I found myself delving into some legal texts recently. It's all so intricate and complicated that it's very difficult to take it all in. <laughs> the contracts of our opera troupe are a case in point. I'd finally finished reading through the relevant documentation from the Yuehai Pavilion... When suddenly, the Qixing announced a new interpretation. Mm. So I'm just curious. How can you be completely sure <laughs> that you didn't miss anything when you were researching this? Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure I read everything relevant. Under current legislation, the penalty terms in my labor contract are unreasonable and exploitative. <laughs> I can report you to the Millilith for extortion. Extortion. Oh, that's, that's ridiculous. My goodness. Sir, it seems that we should bring <laughs> this interview to a close here. D d d don't listen to her. I run a legitimate business. Everything we do is above board. No. Oh, I have no doubt about that at all, sir. But this reminds me of a case I read about not long ago. Once you get reported and the Millilists start scrutinizing your business, well, <laughs> not only do they look into every license you have <laughs> and every work you've ever published, but everything down to your fire safety policy will come under their magnifying glass as well. Mm. So if you don't get back now and start preparing for their arrival... Mm. Well, I mean, I don't mind continuing <laughs> But I'd hate to take up too much of your precious time if there's any aspect of your business you want to double check from a legal standpoint. <laughs> uh, you? I won't forget this! <laughs> hey, where do you think you're going? <laughs> Miss Yun, why did you stop me? Are you really just gonna let him go? Right, and the contract I have is enough to get him arrested, isn't it? <laughs> I'm not a legal expert. I have <laughs> Good bluff. All that was just an act aimed at getting him to show us the way. I'm gonna follow him. An act? Show us the way to what? The location. Gene, the Millilith are after him. Based on his movements, it looks like Boyi is yes. in his headquarters. <sighs> I really hope they teach these tabloids a lesson they won't forget. It sure make my life a lot easier. Ah, I see what's going on. Yes, I had Yunning report to the Millilith while you were delivering the letter for me. The penalty terms in Shuryun's contract are too severe. Even if they don't violate the law, I'm sure he must be taking advantage of some loopholes. Anyone who works like that is sure to have a guilty conscience. So all I had to do was put on a little show, starring the... Editor in chief of the Steambird. <laughs> and now he is sure to lead us to the solid evidence. I can't believe you kept even you even kept us in the dark. <laughs> well, acting has to be authentic to be believable. <laughs> Their little publication will go out of business in no time. <laughs> Good riddance, I say. I hope this gets the other tabloids to rein in their antics too. Hey, here's a thought. Maybe we could get him to rat on some of his rival publications. That'd be an idea. Ah, I only just realized what this means. I'm... I'm going to have a <laughs> job, aren't I? <laughs> hmm. Well, 
Would you still be interested in submitting an article to the Steambird? But the real one this time? Well, y yes, of course. But uh, would they really accept an article from me? Of Maybe. course they would. When can we arrange the next interview for? Oh, so now you're asking me. <laughs> <laughs> Two days from now, morning. Work for you? Okay. Sure, you. Let's continue our discussion about tonight's play two days from now. Does this mean I get to do a full feature interview with you? <laughs> okay, I think I know what I want to write about. Thank you, Miss Yoon. Don't mention it. I'm sure it will be a source of inspiration for both of us. Ah, that's cute. A few friends you shall find, and it's far easier to earn a million more than to find someone who knows your heart. Cute. Alright, I think I have enough for a single pull. I don't know how long, uh, long left we have for Kazuha, but... <laughs> ah, we're so close! Oh my god. You're so damn close. Okay. I have, uh, I have enough for a single pull now, but we still have enough time for uh, a few more, I think. But, okay. Just in case. No, 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 no. This will be the concluding, the concluding act. Let's do two Yunjin stuff first. Because we still have like almost two hours, so we still have, we still have time. Let's do it. Uh, okay, so there's three things here, but I don't know what. Uh, let's go here. Let's do this one. Listen in on the conversation. I'm flying. No. Are you ready? To okay. Ah, okay. I get this. So we, I can step in right here. No one wants to case in point. Report. I. You better use. Now I need to check in with Yunjin. This ends now. Oh. It's you. What do you want? I'm warning you, don't do anything stupid or I'll, uh, uh, I'll spread a lovely little story about you and your gene throughout all of Liyue. Ah, uh, you won't do that. Second, I was so focused on Miss Yoon earlier that I didn't know. Huh? <laughs> what are you talking about? It's the Traveler. It's the traveler, you know. <laughs> will listen to. What the? Oh. What have I gotten myself into? <laughs> uh, uh, no, no need to get all worked up here. Uh, what, what we, what we meant was, uh, was no more lies. Uh, um, um, yes, quite right. You are quite right. I'm disappearing into thin air as we speak. <sighs> Just my luck. I'm so, so sorry. I had no idea it was going to turn out like this. I heard everything. It's not your fault. But I'm so ashamed. I don't know how I could face Miss Yun now. So please, please pass on my apologies to her. Okay, so she doesn't she doesn't come back with us after this. Bum 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 That's weird. <laughs> I'm just looking at the the uh, preview right now on the stream, but it's so strange. Did you find anything out? Yep, she sure didn't ask me to apologize in her about. I see. Well, it's not unexpected. It's just a bit of a shame that I didn't get to talk with Shiryun for longer. She genuinely understands opera, and has a passion for it. That's not something you can act. If I have a chance to talk with her more in-depth, it could well provide me with some fresh inspiration. Yoonji, did you agree to another interview without notifying me? She didn't say anything to give cause for concern. These tabloid types are torture. Nothing mu- <sighs> Short of- <sighs> Well, wallowing is- Ugh, geo. Oh. Oh, sad. 
I wasn't able to get the other one. How do I get that one? I don't know how to get that one. Uh, the Yujin thing. I don't know how to get to this one. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, huh? Wait, am I an idiot? I'm an idiot. Okay, I am an idiot. Okay, I thought I was here the other one. God damn it. Okay, let's do this again. Sorry, Miss Jun. Miss Yoon. Hi. You yes. Let me just skip this. Skip, 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 skip. Hey. Actually. I played safe and booked the interview with with your manager. Yes, you're right. I'm very sorry, but I'm afraid the troop is pretty strict about the rules for this kind of thing, so we'll have to do this one by the book. Please liaise with my manager, and we can do this interview another day. The Steambird is a highly reputable publication, so I'm sure my manager won't give you a hard time. Once the interview is arranged, I'll be very happy to answer any and all questions you have. But... <sighs> Fair enough. Sorry if we're being intrusive. Please forgive us? We'll leave you in peace. Hey, come on, quit dawdling! Yes, I I'm coming. Bye, Miss Yun! Hey, wait! That's the wrong way if you wanted to talk to my manager. And <laughs> they're gone. Oh well, never mind. I have a friend who works for a paper. I'll ask them later. For now, though, the top priority is ah. making good on our plan. Yeah. Now that I think about it, I've turned down three <laughs> for tonight. Come with me. Our plan is the only one remaining, so let's make the most of it. All right. Okay, my my frames are better now. <laughs> Go to Chihu Rock. Where's that? I don't remember that. I don't remember where that is. Where's the fucking quest? Navigate. Oh, need to tell me that. Okay, game. I can smell the fragrance of food in the air. Yes, Chihu <laughs> Rock is definitely the place to go after a performance. Are you taking me to Wanmin Restaurant? Oh, you're a fan of Chef Mao's cooking too? Yeah. Wanmin Restaurant's <clears throat> black back perch stew is hot, spicy, and fresh. But it's not kind on the throat, so unfortunately I can't eat much of it. Yeah, it's true. Also, it's a bit cramped in there. I prefer open air restaurant. Okay, let's go to the third hey, round knockout have then. You been to oh. Ken the Sharp's place before. His grilled tuna ah. fish is the best around. Okay. Third round knockout and one min restaurant are both great restaurants. But when it comes to barbecue, this is the place to go. Okay. Enjoying some nice food and drink, sitting by the hot coals and the cool breeze. <laughs> let's go. Oh. It's nice. Yeah, I definitely love this place. I remember this. Hello. Can we get some grilled fish? Tiger fish, grilled tiger fish, hot off the grill. Oh, hey there. Is this a Miss Yoon which I see before me? It's been a while. What'll it be? The usual? Yes, please. I'm out with my friend today. Let's start with a plate of stir-fried meat and a handful of skewers. Nice. And of course, some grilled tiger fish. Two, please. One with just a hint of chili, <laughs> and the other one. Uh... Tim's yours. Got it. Your grilled tiger fish will be ready soon. Do you want any drinks with that? You serve drinks here? Yeah, I don't advertise it though. Because it's just something I'm experimenting around with for fun. Oh, cool. Miss Yun likes a drink with her barbecue, so I ended up getting her to try them out for me. Oh, that's nice. So, would you two like some tea, or...? Hmm... Anything new? Well, I managed to scrounge some milk from Dongshul next door. A merchant from Mondstadt told me a while back that there's this popular drink doing the rest <laughs> called a uh, milk tea. I tried my hand at making it too, but the response has been uh, kind of lukewarm. Still way off being ready to add to my menu. Should add some boba to it. <laughs> milk? Sorry, milk tea? It might not be the best thing for my throat, but if I'm just having a little taste, I mean, I think it should be fine. <laughs> but what about you? Anything you want to drink? Milk tea. Okay, let's get yours in first. And then, um, I'll have one of each if that's all right. I'd like to try them all. Oh. Okie dokie. 
Uh, and here's your tiger fish, fresh off the grill. <laughs> Come on, let's enjoy it while it's still hot. Piping hot barbecue and a nice cool drink is the best sensation. Hell yeah. I want to eat some street food, man. I haven't done that in a while. <sighs> that was great. Shame about these drinks, though. I only had a little sip of each one, so there's a lot left over. What do you want to do with the rest? Well, I mean, I could just drink them. But they're a little bland for me. Nothing that special. I guess he must have toned down the flavors to make them palatable for a wider range <laughs> of customers. We could just add some flavor back in? In fact, do you know the Hot Pot game? <laughs> <laughs> oh no way! Let's play the hot pot game with the leftover drinks. <laughs> I add some extra ingredients based on my tastes. Then you try to guess what I added. We played this with Soma and Ayaka. Don't worry. After mixing in the new ingredients, I'll also drink hot pot, <laughs> so I won't add any weird stuff. Are you sure this is how the hot pot games played? Ah, uh, we don't need to worry about every last detail. Come on, I'll go grab some ingredients from the shop next door. Once you've psyched yourself up, <laughs> come and join me. Alright. It's like the type of shit na gagawin namin nila Vincent. Like, so, nalalang ginawa namin one time sa, ano, sa JS from. <laughs> there was this, um, there was this fucking, uh, drink from a wine bottle, a, a wine glass, na they would put, like, drinks in. And we were given coffee creamer for some reason. I don't know if we had the coffee creamer or meron lang, meron lang kaming coffee creamer for some whatever reason. This is just fucking mix everything up. Coffee creamer, fucking iced tea, water, fucking I don't know, man, it was horrible. I did not want to drink that. <laughs> okay. Get ready. Oh, and no peeking. And what her gaze. It's ready. Let me try it first. <laughs> hmm. Pretty good. Your turn. Alright, what's this? You didn't seem to react, okay. Save it or knock it back. Savor the flavor. Nothing at first, but then a tidal wave of umami with a whiff of the sea. God damn. Have another taste. Something solid floating with drink. Tastes great and refreshing. Really savor it. The complex flavors of a rich soup hit the back of your throat. How did you drink this with a straight face? Uh -huh. Oh, just regular <laughs> facial expression control. Besides, <laughs> It's nothing that unusual. I think it tastes okay, doesn't it? It's more of a soup than a drink, but amazingly, it actually tastes pretty good. <laughs> so did you work out what ingredients I added? Um, uh, no, a whiff of the sea, right? It was a whiff of the sea. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure it was, it was solid, right? Oh yeah, yeah, it was up in this. Yeah, tofu, salt. You seem to have a well-developed palate. We can try some more combinations Interesting. next time. Okay. I wonder what kind of new flavors I could create with some more traditional teas, like pine nectar or snow blossom. I can't wait to try it out. I'm really excited <laughs> just thinking about it. I never thought this is what you'd be like offstage. Huh. Well, people do often say that getting deep into a character is about identifying the part of you that is similar to them and bringing that into the performance. So in that sense, I can't say it's incorrect to conflate an actor and the characters they play on some level. Mm. But there are many more sides of me than the few you see on stage. So ultimately, yes, <laughs> I am not the same person on stage as I am off stage. Sometimes, when I get letters from people, I can tell from the way they <laughs> write that they see me as someone cold and aloof. I can write back, but I have to be very careful about what I say. Likewise, when I get invited along to banquets and so on, <laughs> I have to make sure to keep myself calm <laughs> and composed the whole night. That's a shame. Your offstage personality is definitely the cuter one. Your offstage personality is more striking. That's, well, that's a shame. Your offstage personality is definitely the cuter one. Um, I bought you one drink, okay? <laughs> that's not a license for you to start saying weird stuff like that. <laughs> well, never mind. You seemed like you were being sincere. I'll let it go. <laughs> All I was trying to say is that everyone has many different sides to their personality. And if you get fixated on just one of those, 
there's so much you'll never discover about a person. That's true. This is this also works if we with hadn't like had a chance to hang out and chat like this tonight. There are things about you I might never have gotten to see. This uh, this coincides with like a lot of um uh celebrities like you know being put on a pedestal and all that. This is very similar to that. I like that it's going uh, into that kind of stuff. Like the mighty and distinguished traveler diligently reviewing my hot pot drink. <laughs> <laughs> and I would have assumed you were serious all the time. And I would have assumed you were a stuffy thespian type. I don't know what the fuck that means. I don't know what the fuck a thespian is. And I don't want to pretend that I know, so I'm gonna search it up on Google, whatever the fuck that means. Stuffy thespian. Oh, well, I didn't really think of her that way, to be honest. And I would have assumed you were serious all the time. Serious? On stage, I guess. But off stage, just think of me as another one of your friends. Just one who happens to have a flair for the dramatic. Yeah. So, friend. Oh. What shall we do next? Call me friend. Something to remember today by? Let's get a photo. Get a photo? You mean capture this happy moment for posterity so we can look back on it later? Yep. Sounds good. Let's have the food stall in the background. Hmm. Now, how should I pose? Pose. 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 Take a photo of Yunjin. Where is Yunjin? Ah, there you are. Hang on. Just take a photo real quick. Let me just do this. Hide that. And... Why am I not included in the shot? I want to be included in the shot. No, I want to get I want to get Ether in here. Ether, where you at? Where you at, buddy? I'm gonna put Ether somewhere. Fuck. <laughs> where do I put Ether? Uh, let's put him here. There we go. Just what will we come across this time? A picture with Ayaka. That's what we're gonna take. Want to come across this time? There we go. Nice! Now, if you could look at the camera, please, and not look at Yunjin. Thank you, they're very nice. <laughs> now, Yunjin's looking at us, though. <laughs> I can't- I can't fucking take a picture like this! <laughs> can't even see the fucking background anymore. Ah, something like this would work, I guess. Right? Yeah, something like this would work. At least we're both looking at the fucking camera. <laughs> yeah! Look at that! Nice! Wait, do I just need to take a photo of you, of you and Jin? It, 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 ah, there we go. It's place. <laughs> oh my god. There we go. Take photo of Yunjin. Get the good photo, please. Nice. <laughs> it looks good. I hope whenever you look at this photo in the future, it will remind you of the good time we had today. So, goodbye for now? Hold on. Nah? How is one photo going to be enough? Ah. We'll both need one if we want something to remember each other by. Right. You have a point. You take this one, and I'll take another photo of you. Oh. But could you find another location for us? I'm thinking somewhere around Feiyun Slope with a good view. I'll join you in a moment. I have something to prepare here first. All right. Let's go look for a spot in Fayan Slope. I really want to use Ether more, the Traveler more in general. I probably will be using him a lot. Sa ano sa Tokito? sa Sumeru because Dendro Traveler and all that. But yeah, I'm probably gonna 
that stuff. Sorry to keep you waiting so long. I wasn't waiting long at all. <sighs> the view here is great. The lights, the buildings, it's the ideal spot. I could see you chose it carefully. <laughs> yes, this angle is perfect. Okay, strike a pose and close your eyes. Close my eyes? For a photo? Yes, please. Quickly now. <laughs> what is this? You close your eyes. <laughs> His creaking sounds like a wooden stand being unfolded and landing on the ground. Then you hear some light footsteps, followed by Yunjin's voice right by your ear. Get ready. Okay. Three, two, one. Open your eyes. Oh, oh my god, that's so cute! Oh. <laughs> wow. Ah, that's adorable. That's very wholesome. We love to see it. Alright, for the last one, let's check again how much more time we have. Yeah, we still got a lot of time. I think I can finish a bunch more story, uh, like a one, more and more story quest before we can pull, but yeah, it probably won't be enough for another pull. So precious! God damn! See this one. Half a day's leisure. I really want to play with her character more. <laughs> I want to really put her in my team now. I want to put her in the Mono Geo team. We but I don't have Ito yet. Combinations next time. Yep. Mm. I can't wait to try it out. I'm the real you and the characters play are nothing alike. Well, people do so in that sense, but there are sometimes I can write. You're on stage persona is more striking. That's unavoidable. You think so? So you prefer the way I am on stage too? It's fair enough. <laughs> I draw oh! every detail of my on stage presence, from the songs to the costumes and makeup. No! Carefully crafted you made her sad, Ether! You made her sad! <laughs> and I've worked hard to try and cultivate an image that appeals to everyone, regardless of age or gender. But if I can't lighten up and joke around, even with my closest friends when I'm off stage, that's a real bummer. Yep. Never mind. Talking about this is just going to kill the mood. Tonight was about me showing my gratitude to you. So, did you have a good time? Is there anything else you want? Like, something to remember the evening by? A souvenir, perhaps? Anything you can think of? An autograph- an autograph photo of you? <laughs> <sighs> oh. Okay. Here you go. You had one prepared already? Well, people ask me for autographs all the time. Usually, what they want is a signed picture of me on stage. Apparently, that makes it more valuable. Oh, you keep Ending making her sad! I keep a bunch of them on hand at all times to make things easier. Ah, yes! That one is a picture from the Divine Damsel of Devastation. <laughs> I have one just like it on my wall at home. Let's make one. Let's make. Hey, let's make a new are one. Are you guys talking about Miss Yoon's autograph photos? <laughs> I have one in the store too. So everyone has one. Well, what do you think? Is this souvenir valuable enough for you? Oh. <laughs> a souvenir without sentiment is of little worth. The thing really worth remembering is perhaps not some monograph picture. Man, I wish I did. No, actually, you, you know what? I'm glad I did. I, I, I'm glad I did the first, the other one first, because yeah, that's definitely not not a good one. <laughs> Hey, that sucks. That sucks. This is better. <laughs> this is way better. We love this one. All right. And it's time for the moment of truth. <clears throat> okay, just for um just for the just for ritual purposes. I want to go somewhere where we can. This is gonna be really stupid. Let's go somewhere where we first saw Hazo. I don't know where we first saw Hazo though. What's a good ritual for summoning Hazo? <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, nga ba natin sa last na nakita? I feel like somewhere around... Somewhere around here, right? Somewhere around here. No, 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 not there. It's uh, Watatsumi. Somewhere around Watatsumi. I don't know where we're... Maybe it was here somewhere? Maybe here? I don't know. Yeah, I think it was here. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. First meeting with Hazo. Sorry to be here, I think. Let's do that. Uh, ko lang dito, Blue. Promise. <laughs> I'm gonna do everything in my power to manifest this Hazo. <laughs> but if not, it's just gonna be so sad. Okay, so this is where we first actually encountered Hazel, so we saved him from over here, I think. From this part? I, I don't know. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. I forget! Let me just search it up real quick. Actually, no, I don't. I don't know how to search it. I don't know how to search it. I don't know how to search it. Um, is it here? Ah, man, I don't want to go through there again. Uh, oh yeah, I finished all of these. Ah, man, I forget. Uh, so, I Google na lang natin. Pinakmadali. Eh. Where do you first meet Hazel in his story quest? Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. There should be some pictures here. <clears throat> My secret achievement pala dito. We can do that. Uh, a guard will tell you southeastern corner. Southeastern corner. I feel like I feel like I feel like this is it. Feeling feeling ko tama naman to. Southeastern corner of Watatsumi Island. Southeastern is over this way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tama. This was this way. Okay, so I'm going to just. Um. Wish here, I guess. Oh, hey. <laughs> ah, man. A miss moment be made to last. I'm just. I auto makes it up a lot. Yee! More primos. Alright. Game! Let's see if we get him. I. I'm not hopeful. <laughs> All that, and it's just the fucking blue. Hey, Nakua! Let me just, uh. Let me just uh, switch this up. Hang on, no, not that one. Switch. New trailing tails is always nice to get. And R five. Okay. Um. Well, we still have about an hour and thirty minutes almost, so I can still do. Pwede pa akong mag isa pang story quest. Kasi, I have... How many left? I have 62. Um, okay. So, I have 62. Tapos, per story quest, I can get about 60 na I think. Sixty nga ba? 20, 20, 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 60, 80. Kasi yung achievement from finishing the... From getting all of the memories. So, like, 80... 60 plus 80 is 140. So, kulang pa ako ng 20. Ah! <laughs> uh, looks like we're gonna have to speedrun something. Uh, what other thing can we do? I don't know. Probably won't be enough. Okay. Well, for now, I'm gonna fuck. I'm just gonna take a break really quickly. Kasi ako ay nagugutom. Kailangan ko rin mag CR, so. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys in a bit. Uh.
It's very unfortunate that I didn't get si Hazel in that one pull, but hey, what can you do? Alright, I'll be right back.
Okay, okay, we're back. <laughs> I got some food. <laughs> we're gonna eat them here among contemplating our hazel pulls. <laughs> By the way, just to show you how uh how long i've been pulling for hazo let's look at my pity here we have let's see hindi pa nag-update to eh so dagdagan na natin plus 1 na lang yan plus 1 plus 1 to kasi yung thrilling tales natin hindi pa nag-update so we have 6 12 ningguang 18 thoma 24 <laughs> 30 another ningguang 36, another Ningguang. And 37, 38, 39. And that's it. <laughs> it's Kaso na. Kasi sobrang sinuerte ako kay Kaso eh. Mostly. So, I got, I got, um, we got, oh shit, we got Kaso ha, 10 pulls after ng, Soft beat ko. Kasi na na natalo ko sa 50-50 ko eh. So, um, I pulled another. I pulled a few. I, I pulled a few more. Kasi, so makuha din si, ano, si Hazo. So, even if I didn't get Kazoa, I'd be happy na meron akong Hazo. Pero yung kabrek ta rin yung nangyari ngayon. So, now I have 40 fucking, 40 fucking pulls on this. So, wala pa rin akong Hazo. <laughs> Napakalungkot. <laughs> So yeah, I have like, f I have, mahabog sa ifaw kay Joy Mia, pero you know, at the end of the day, hindi ko na makukuha sa Hazo. The reason why I'm pulling on Kasuha, still, is because I don't really need Klee. I don't really need her on my character archives because I don't need her on And a Kazuha Constellation I think would be better for my account than a, Kaz a, a Klee copy. So, that's why I'm pulling for Kazuha on Kazuha's banner instead. So by the way, my cat! I'm just here. Don't you go there! You're so cute! But yeah. So, uh, I still need a hundred, a hundred more primos again to be able to pull another, and it's not even guaranteed for four star. According to, um, according to Paimon.mo, eh. 
Uh, my my current four star pity is two. Well, no, seven actually. Wait, no, actually, officially, I, it's, it's on eight. <laughs> I need two more to get a guaranteed four star. So let's let's just <laughs> let's just fucking let's just fucking speed run this. So I have an hour. To be able to do this, I need two more pulls, and if that fucking four star isn't Hazel, I would be so sad, but at least I tried my best. Let's do this. I would go for Abyss, but I already finished my uh, floor floor uh, floor 9 to floor 11. Tapos yung floor 12, hindi ko pa, hindi, hindi ako makakuha ng, 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 uh, ng star dun. I promise you, I will not be able to do that. Yunjin, Yunjin. Uh, okay, Bedo, 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 Bedo. Let's just do Bedo's hangout. Because I like Bedo as well as a four star. I think the hangouts and like all four of them were the ones that I'm pretty interested in. So let's do this. I might have to skip some of the dialogue as well. Uh, pero you know, not 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 too much. I'm just gonna skip. To, to make it as fast as I can. Because I want to get the primos as soon as possible. Because I still need... Uh, <laughs> I still need about... I don't know. I, I don't know how much I need. I need 100 for a single pull and I need another 160. So I don't know how the fuck I'm going to get that. But. Well, would you look who's here? Looks like it's going to be a day to remember. Guys, look who the sea washed up. Ahoy there, traveler. Hey, welcome back. <laughs> so I welcome back. I mean, did hey. invite you to join the homecoming celebration. Hey, I heard that you took care of another crisis while you were in Inazuma. Of course, Are I the did. the rumors true? Yeah. That's what I heard too. Thanks to you, Inazuma's vision hunt decree was finally put to an end. Well done, traveler. Thanks. Captain's got quite the eye for people. She said she was sure that your trip to Inazuma would stir up some waves, and sure enough. It was a joint effort. I can't take all the credit. <laughs> Look at you being so modest. We all know what you did to protect Liyue Harbor. I've heard that they tell stories about you and Mondstadt, too. The Honorary Knight. Yep. <laughs> I'd say someone of your caliber would be right at home in the crats. <laughs> right, sailors? Uh... <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, Trying to recruit I'm me, excited huh? excited just thinking of being the Traveler's crewmate. Hey, what do you say we arm wrestle? Where's Beto? <laughs> I was worried you'd be too busy to show up. <laughs> there she is. Oh, Captain on deck. Uh, Captain, we were just trying to talk the traveler into joining the crew. Yeah, come on, Captain Beto. Surely you've got a way to get the traveler on board. Oh, he's <laughs> on board right now for the celebration, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, but just one celebration together is not enough. You know what we mean, Captain. All right, all right, I get it now. <laughs> there is something special about you, Traveler. You earned everyone's respect, myself included. Thanks, Beta. So, it goes without saying that the Crux would be honored to have a crew member such as yourself. Yeah. No doubt about that. But an honorary that, member. <laughs> a hero like yourself doesn't just set off on a journey without some bigger purpose in mind. Yep. So should a hero really drop what they're doing just to spend day after day drifting at sea <laughs> with us? That's true. Well, if that were the case, then the Crux, known for always moving forward to the next horizon, would instead be holding someone back. That's true. Great. Uh, I guess we didn't think that part through. <laughs> Remember... Rather than seeking out strong members to join us, you should be focusing on making yourselves the strongest that you can be. If we are powerful, they will come to us. Isn't that why everyone here chose to come aboard in the first place? Yes. A strong sailor is always looking for a sturdy ship. I guess I almost forgot the first lesson you ever taught me. Thanks for the reminder, Captain. <laughs> Just be How sure nice. you all keep that in mind. Now, there's no more need to hound the Traveler, as you were. <laughs> the Traveler and I have something to discuss. Oh, yeah? What's that? I'm glad you came. Welcome back aboard. Um... The crew seemed excited to see me. Thanks for helping me out back there. Hey, don't mention it. <laughs> as a host, it would be pretty embarrassing to continue letting my guests be put on the spot like that. I can't go getting too caught up in my own reputation, though. That's certainly not how the Crux made it to where we are today. 
As the head of the fleet, my task is to keep us on the right course, no matter how turbulent the seas may become. But then again, the crew isn't usually this riled up. <laughs> it's not that they're arrogant, they're just bubbling with ambition, that's all. Their excitement today comes from their great respect for you, both your strength and your character. So please, don't take it the wrong way. Of course. Why would I? I should be thanking them for taking me to Inazuma. All good then. Great. Actually, speaking of Inazuma, I think your good luck must have rubbed off on me on the way over. I made an oh, interesting yeah? find on the beach shortly after we parted <laughs> ways. <laughs> this is the uh, this is what happened on the um, the Hazo quest. This is what they were talking about. Let's talk about it over there, where it's a little quieter. Is it? Could it be? Could it be that what? Could it be that's what uh, she's talking about? Hello. So after we dropped you off in Rito, we found a shipwreck nearby. Probably belonged to Inazuma pirates. We searched the wreckage and found a map. Mm, never mind, this is the same. I it's different. It was a nautical chart. I was thinking we might discover a new sailing route if we were lucky. But after a closer look, I realized it wasn't a map of the sea at all. It was a Liyue treasure map, and no ordinary one at that. Is there a great demonic presence in the area? Um... Nothing like that. I just mean that the map was a mess. <laughs> so it was the most I could do to figure out that the treasure was probably in Lyra. Okay. As for its exact location, I have no idea. Um, uh, I'd say I've explored Lyra pretty extensively, but still, this one managed to beat me. Ah, so you need my help. So, I thought of you. Nobody can beat you when it comes to treasure hunting on land, right? <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm the best treasure hunter of all time, you know? Only the best of eight. Is that right? <laughs> well then, it looks like I'm in good hands. Here's the map, see what you can make of it. So, where do you think it is? What the fuck is this? I don't have any locations... <laughs> I don't have any locations drawn onto my fucking head right now. But whatever the traveler says, I think it's Chingsa Village, just very badly drawn. Chingsa Village. I don't see the resemblance at all. How'd you come to that conclusion? Eh, Chingsa Village has a lot of terraced land, which seems to match the country lands on this map. Oh, okay then. I'm definitely a rookie at this, <laughs> but your word's good enough for me. Time for a trip to Chingsa. You're mm. coming with me, of course. I'll need you to help me zero in on the specific location once we're there. I don't actually know if that was true, but I'm guessing we can pick both of these options and we'll have different memories. <laughs> oh. Let's get a chink, so. Hello! Ah, Pedro! Wow, and a <laughs> traveler! My goodness, what's the occasion? Just here to visit us old folks once again. We're going here it to find some treasure. It hasn't been that long since we last had a visit from the Crux. But I'm glad you picked today. You're just the people I need. These two young rascals. They've been arguing with each other non-stop about some petty nonsense or other. I'm too old to get through to them. They won't listen to <clears throat> me. Please, talk some sense into them. Rest assured, Granny Zhuoshin. Whatever the situation is, the Traveler and I will take care of it. Oh, thank goodness. It's Captain Vale. <laughs> you couldn't have come at a better time. You're the voice of reason I need in this situation. Captain, please. Help me get justice. Whoa, hey, hey, hey. What exactly is going on here? Spit it out. Tell me everything. It makes me mad just talking about it. Do I like her hear? design. I, I like her little screw loose or air what his problem thing is. decorations. But anyway, 
he took it upon himself to raise, well, practically a whole army of finches, okay? And now guess what? They fly onto my land and completely destroy at least half of my crops. <laughs> that's unfortunate. <laughs> I asked him to pay <laughs> should be laughing, that's pretty mean. <laughs> refused. Now how is that fair? Captain, I'm innocent. They're not even my finches. Oh. Okay. I just thought they looked kind of cute, you know, so I fed them a couple of times. They're wild birds, though. A couple times? Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's rich. Really rich. There were two of them when you first started. Two finches. <laughs> now you have a whole roof full of finch nests. I swear, every time I come by your place, I think I'm at a bird market. I'm telling you, you are not going to get away with this anymore. So... Yeah, I mean, they laid a few eggs, made a few nests, but finches gonna finch, you know. <laughs> fuck is this? Birds, I mean, they'll do whatever they please. Finch is oh, gonna finch on <laughs> I think I got the picture. Hmm. What's your take? Uh, yeah, I think G's responsible. He has been feeding them too much, and now they're just farming people's crops. Yeah, you have a point. G, let's say I'm interested in buying these finches off you. What would you say to that? Are you serious, Captain? Oh, that would be great. Honestly, with all this trouble they've been causing me lately, they've become a bit of a burden. So if you're happy to take them off my hands, that would be perfect. All right, deal. My only condition is, you have to use some of the money to compensate Wen Jing for her losses. Oh, come on. <laughs> but I never raised them, did I? Well, you tell me. <laughs> if you took my deal, that means you admitted to being the owner, doesn't it? Otherwise, <laughs> what gives you the right to sell them to me? <laughs> Captain Beto's right. If you didn't raise them, what makes you think you can go taking her money for them, huh? I, uh, well... <laughs> you know, that's pretty bad. I mean, you just kind of tricked them into taking that. No one would probably fucking, like, resist money out of this. I don't know. Don't worry. My offer includes plenty left over for you after deducting the compensation. This way you get something back for looking after them. Okay then. Okay. I'll pay the compensation. I hope you two <laughs> are very grateful indeed, Tobedo. I dare say no one else will be quite so accommodating toward the people of our village. Granny Zhuoshin, as you know, many of the boys from your fine village yeah. do sterling work for the Kruk. The fleet wouldn't be what it is today without them. So please think nothing of it. Uh, Ji, Wenjing, I guess you're free to go. Captain Beidou, Captain Beidou, you're Ups. here. Pop Shing, it's been a long time. How've you been? <sighs> Don't get me started. I've been having some real <laughs> trouble with that neighbor of mine. <laughs> so many disputes. <laughs> we keep having the same argument, and it just goes nowhere. I heard you were in the village, so I rushed over to seek your help. See, need that fixer. What's the issue? Well, come with me. You'll see. Let's go find Jen and clear this whole thing up face to face. I forgot I was still using ether here, but it's fine. Wala naman masyadong labanan mangyayari dito, I think. I mean, there could be, pero as of right now there isn't any, so let's keep ether in the team. Could like ether. Captain Beto, you're here. <laughs> I heard that you and Pop Shing had a little misunderstanding. So, what's up? Tell me about it. <sighs> Zhen planted a tree on his property a few years back. I had no issue with it at the time. It's just a tree. But a few years on, it's grown taller than the roof of my house. I see a spin crystal in the back there. Every morning when I get up and open the window, I just want to feel the sun on my face. But I'm greeted instead of <laughs> the looming shadow of my neighbor's tree. It really affects my mood. I asked Jen to cut it down so I could get some sunlight back on my property. But he said no. <laughs> It's like he's done this on purpose just to drive me crazy. Captain Beto, you gotta believe me. I didn't intend to block the sunlight, but there's nothing I can do about it now. It's not just any old tree, you see. That tree was planted there by my late father. Mm. Not long after he planted it, he passed away. 
And just before he passed, he left me with some parting words. He said our family's fortune was inauspicious and we needed something to suppress the bad luck. That's what he planted the tree for. How can I just chop it down? You probably get a something I'll be in honest, the middle. I spent a few years studying in Liyue Harbor, so I don't actually share his superstitious beliefs. But still, that doesn't change the fact that this was my father's dying wish. Okay, I think I'm all clear on the situation. What are you thinking? Uh, <clears throat> I think Ren deserves some leniency. Mm, I was thinking along the same lines as you. Look, Pops, I'm not trying to make excuses for Jen, but... Just try putting yourself in his shoes for a Jen's desire to protect his tree isn't for money or because he wants to hurt anyone, or for the sake of any superstition. He just wants to honor his father's dying wish. Pops, you have kids too, right? Yeah, when you put it like that. <laughs> Pops, if you can agree to it, I'll have a word with Granny Zhuoshin and see about getting you some money from the relief fund as compensation for having your sunlight blocked. As for the tree... Uh, that sounds good to me. Uh, whatever you think, Captain Beto, uh, the tree can stay. Some compensation would make me feel much better about the whole thing. Uh, thank you, Captain Beto. <laughs> and thank you for understanding Pop's Shin. It'll be such oh, a shit. relief not <laughs> to worry it. about this anymore. <laughs> On a separate note, I remember the Crux last visited the village not very long ago. Is there some special reason why you're back ah, in person so soon? Finally! Finally back to this. <laughs> Nothing all that special, just personal reasons. I'm looking for some treasure. Huh? Treasure? W wait a second. That reminds me, I saw Chong Ping and Defu arguing in the fields earlier. It, it, it sounded <laughs> like they were both trying to lay claim to some treasure. I, I don't know if it's related to the one you're looking for, but but anyway, they're probably still there now. Really? Okay, well, you and Pop Shing can go about your business now. I'll go see what the situation is. I'll get that. Gotta go get that. Gotta go get that treasure. And let, me, let, me, let me just check the timer real quick. I have... <laughs> No, we have 50 minutes. <laughs> I will not be able to get enough. No. Oh, no. Gotta hurry. Ah. So close to a guaranteed four star. Ah, this is not the treasure we're looking for. I'm gonna have to just skip most of these. You're just in time. What happened? What happened? Well, I'm not being unreasonable, Captain. And then, what do you know? Uh huh? The way I see it, it's my. Okay, life. yeah. You say that, Defu. But what you're forgetting is that I. It was also my plowing that turned up this chest. However, you cut it. <laughs> the drama just keeps coming today. What are your thoughts? I know a legal expert. I think she's better suited to handling this kind of stuff. Okay, I think I'm up to speed here. If you two really want to take this for as for the costs, I'll cover them. What do you think? Uh, uh, Neither of you seems thrilled. <laughs> I'll be straight with you. The reason I came here today was so. How about you two stop fighting? <laughs> and of course, I'll be indebted to both of you. If either of you. Captain, you're far too kind, really. Yep, totally agree. Mm -hmm. You should have said something. I would have. Nice. Seems like it's been quite a busy day for you. Come on, let's go to the village. Nice. Don't worry about the chat. Ah, uh, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I just really need these primos. God damn it! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! We need to speed run. Wait, how long does that have to wait? Oh, it's night time. Okay, no problem. Para kay Hazel. Kolompa, <laughs> kolompa, kolompa. Yam. Alam mo pul na lang eh. Alam mo ako kada sa iso. Greatest thing. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <clears throat> Saan yung spin crystal na nakita ko dito kanina? I'll have to wait. What a fine day today. She sure has. With a yeah, and if it weren't for Captain- Here, here! We have plenty to thank- Here, here. I couldn't ask for more than the- Eh. Yeah. <sighs> that really hit the spot.
spot. We can take a look through the contents of that chest while we're at it. Chong Ping placed it by the water wheel. You sure you haven't had too much to drink? <laughs> Are you kidding? Beto can handle her liquor. She's drunk. Come She's on, drunk. Let's go. She's drunk. <laughs> She's drunk. <laughs> <laughs> She's drunk as fuck. It does look like something. So, I've been thinking. But don't you think some of my solutions can be a little <laughs> stupid? No. You can laugh. I don't mind. <laughs> uh, take Chung Ping and Dafu's wrangling over that chest, for instance. I had no clue who it should belong to. <laughs> so I just came up with this stupid idea of taking it for myself. But, I mean, I'm no oh. wrong. I can't make a perfect deal every time. And I'm no Yen Fei either. Not all my judgment calls are going to be 100% fair and square. I am Beto. And my strength is in trading favors. So the captain of the crux just hands out favors to everyone all the time? <laughs> <laughs> you think I should be more selective? Some people think their favors are so valuable that they need to plan out how and when yep. others see doing favors as a burden. Mm. Not worth anything in monetary terms and prone to getting you locked in a cycle of constantly returning the favor back and forth. Yeah. But the way I see it, favors are what keep people connected to one another. That's interesting. Over thousands of years, the people of Liyue have created yep. This means that no individual is truly on their own out there. Yep. Over the years, I've come to owe favors to a great many people. And yeah. these are the countless bonds between us, mm. like so many fish in the sea. I believe that if there ever comes a day when the world is overrun by monsters, Liyue's legal system collapses, and it's these bonds ah, that will see that us makes all sense. through I like that. ahead. So the reason you asked for my help with finding treasures today, so is that so you can owe me a favor? I'm not saying that. But either way, we have a pretty firm bond between us already, don't you think? Oh yeah, I could say that. <laughs> Was this wind brewed in a winery? <laughs> Making me lightheaded. <laughs> I feel like I'm forgetting something. <laughs> something we were literally just talking about. You did mention that treasure chest. Oh, yeah, the chest! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got so immersed in our conversation that I forgot all about the main event. It was about to be that one meme. Come if you on, forgot about it, it probably wasn't that important. And it is a fucking child. <laughs> oh! Oh, <laughs> that's disgusting! <laughs> oh, that's it? A whole lot of nothing? It's not exactly what I was looking for, but you know what? I don't care. <laughs> the fun part was going on a treasure hunt with you. Yeah. Come on, let's get back to the party. Tonight, we go big before we go home. Hell yeah. Alright. Yeah! Oh, that's so cute. Ah, uh, these hangouts are so nice. Like, the art that they have, like, those images and stuff, is so cute. Uh, I have 60 right now. I just got 5. Rock shines bright. Yes, we have 1! I should be able to do one more after this. I, like, one more pull after I'll do in all of this. Bum 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 <laughs> Alright. Alright, so here we get to choose again what the so what after we, we dropped you we searched the wreck at first I thought but after a closer look. It's in I, evil chi. Um, as for it I'd say uh, so I thought of you. Nobody can beat you when you know me too well. That right. Here's the map. See what uh, okay, so... So. Let's go to Goyle Plains. Goyle Plains. Huh, I never would have gotten that. How can you... Oh, so you do live up to the hype. Can we notice <laughs> I can't that? believe you. <laughs> Let's head over there and take a look. Alright. I'm going to Goyle Plains. Bing, 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 bing. I like that I can still enjoy this somewhat, you know? But now I'm speedrunning it, basically. <laughs> yeah, I just really need it because I'm really close to that. I'm really close to that uh, four star. Because even if I, if I even if I get just one, please, I need more. I need more. <laughs> the gotcha addiction is strong in this one. Uh, it'll be so unfortunate if we if we don't get the to the guaranteed four star because at least if I get the four guaranteed four star I'll be fine I'll be satisfied but <clears throat> yeah if I don't get it I'll just be sad 
I saw their hoarders over here. They look like there's something funny. Should be around here. Hmm? Who are they? Oh, it's a bunch of truck. Yep. There are quite a few of them. I'm more than a match for these amateurs. Trial Bedo. We getting him? No, we're not. <clears throat> Keep digging, boys. Once we have our hands on the truck, you can all hold it. Huh? <laughs> Who's that barking? Do you know who you're up against here? Uh, what the? It's it's, it's <laughs> Captain B B Beto. <laughs> run, boys, run! Nobody move. <laughs> Captain Beto, Lord of the Ocean. This is all my fault. Mm. I got a big mouth. Is all. Please, <laughs> mercy. <laughs> well, spare them at least. If you need to take anyone, it was me that disrespected. You. Is that right? Fine. Yep. Seems like you've got to get out of here. Thank you, Captain Beto. Get Wait. Wait. Yes. What else might <laughs> the merciful and this treasure's still up for grabs. The Crux Fleet honors the rule of first you found it first. So, name your price. Oh. Can't have any rumors going around about <laughs> Captain Beto stealing <laughs> other people's Captain honor. Beto, we wouldn't dare take more. D take the treasure as an apology for my foolish words. Please, take it. Please. Oh. Well, if you insist. I accept your kind <laughs> offer, and I'll if you want to mend your ways and put all this in it'd be humble work, but at least it'd get you on your feet and making an honest living. Yep, yep, yep. Wow. Yeah, it is really great. <laughs> let's see what we've got in here. All right, let's go. This isn't what we're looking for. Let's look around. Maybe we'll find it. Those rocks look kind of weird. And <laughs> they do actually. What the fuck is this? Let's see if there's anything there. Nothing. Oh fuck. Let's keep looking. All right. Oh god, this is a miss me just. Oh. What are those hilly trolls digging for? Wait, actually, I've heard they sometimes dig for buried treasure. Let's go take a closer look. Yes. Let's. No! I forgot I didn't have Venti. Oh fuck, this is gonna be hell. Embrace the ice! Lampa hunter than saw cryo of this mage. Ah, this is gonna be horrible. Oh, this is gonna take too much of my time. Hang on, hang on. Get the fuck away from me! Right. Stop chasing me, please. Is chasing after me? I can't beat him! I can't beat that guy! Alright, here we go. I'll just get Venti out there. Or, I could just do this. Way easier. And that's the only annoying thing about this, is that I can't fucking... <laughs> I can't beat up cryo units without... Uh, without another unit. I need... I need Venti to deal with these things. Alright. Don't need to take too long. We're in a time crunch here. Alright, let's see. Sit. <clears throat> Nope. Nope. Now that we've searched all the places of interest in this What's the treasure looking for? Captain Beto! Oh shit. Captain Beto! What is it? They find something? Huh? Hey, what? Captain Beto! Actually, because we were thinking about, well, me and the boys decided. Oh, um, damn. Are you sure? Yes. Absolutely. Okay then. But I'll warn you right now, you won't have it, so there'll be a grueling. I understand. I understand. Truth nice. be told, Captain, it's only because it's you. The and since you made us this kind <coughs> offer, I'd like to ask if- Aww. <laughs> well, there's no place in the crux for delusions of grandeur, that's for sure. But, then again, so, it comes down to you. If you then, yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you, Captain Beto. I couldn't help but notice you were- Why? Do you have any clue? We heard about two treasures. Both in- Two treasures. So maybe the other one might Where be not too far from here. All the info we got about this treasure came- <clears throat> What the hell is this? Suddenly I gazed at the ruins long forsaken, and lay beneath red leaves whose branches cast a crooked shade. The dusk sun shone upon the sea as I awakened, but Guyan stood twixt weary eyes. I have no idea what that means. As for the ruins long forsaken part, but okay. beyond that line, I, 
I'm just not smart enough. <laughs> so a treasure. See my friend here. If they taught treasure hunting as an art form, you'd probably be. Am I right? <clears throat> Let's maybe hit the side first. <laughs> okay then. Okay, come on, boys. I still don't. That um, I don't really have time to read that right now. So I'm, I'm, I'm a severe time crunch right now. I only have like 30 minutes, right? <laughs> I only have 36 minutes left. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna make it. I'm only gonna be able to do one pull. No. Long forsaken ruins, but judging by this. Hmm. Drunkenly, I gazed at the ruins long forsaken and lay beneath red leaves whose branches. <sighs> do you have any ideas? Maybe gaze at the ruins when the writer wasn't here, but. Yeah, somewhere you Second line means the there's probably red leaf tree yeah. around. And maybe the shadow cast line, by Perhaps the, the dust has something to do with the timing. Oh, I got it. This guy fell asleep and dusk and the shadow. Let's take a look around. Hey, dusk in the shadow of a red sunset. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna have to find a, a red-leaved tree, right? Okay, game. Now is not the time. Now is not the time. Oh my god. Game. No. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, thank god, holy shit. Okay, that is... Alright, uh, red leaf tree. Somewhere around here. Ah, there you are. Found it! <laughs> At long last, the... You really came through. Without your help, I don't think I ever would have gotten my hands on it. Is it worth a lot Not of more? Much, but enough for an average person to- When That's I found good. the treasure map, it was tightly sealed and I'll okay. let you read it for yourself. If you find this ball, it may no longer be in this world. I originally thought that these pirates having their reason means we'd be able to send me back to the leeway, which was why I got on board the ship. I never expected that. Ah, forget it. I suppose it's what they call destiny. Before I came to Inazuma, I worried that my old mother's place would be burgled and she lives his own, so I left a check, uh, left a check for all the more I've saved for over these past few years, buried, buried in a location marked out on this map. Please help me retrieve that check and exchange it to the Northland Bank. The more will then be yours to do as you as would please, save for a small portion I would like to use to pay my mother's living expenses. Her name is Minamoto Kotomi and she lives in the Gwaii Plains. Please do this for me and thank you. I'm sorry, mother. I found loads of these those sakura bl blooms that could be found all over your homeland, but it's a shame that I cannot send them to your side. That's sad. So it's the sign, dying wish of a man who made a tragic faith. It's the last will of a faithful yeah. son. I can't fault him for what he did, but well, let's fulfill. Okay. The wooden house by the sea. Oh, it's this woman. Wait, wait, no, wait. I don't think this is. I don't think this is the one that I was thinking of. But I was thinking of the the woman, the old woman, dun sa may conch, may giant na seashell, na house. I don't think this is the woman though. Yeah, it's probably not this one. It's probably a different person. I don't know. The, there's not that much lore over here, but yeah, I've never seen this one before. Well, this is it. Oh boys, it's time for your first job. Give this check to the old lady who lives in that wooden hut. Yes, oh, boss. nice. <clears throat> I have some sakura blooms that I picked up in Inazuma. I wonder how them too. <laughs> I see, but you only find sakura blooms in certain places, right? Let's just pick one, huh? One's enough to show that you care. Uh oh. You've already helped me out so much today. Oh, okay. Okay, off you go then. Take her the Sakura Bloom along with the check. And if she asks, your child in a faraway land sends his best wishes. Oh. <clears throat> oh, that's so sweet. Sakura Blooms upon Gwaii Fell. Alright, that's the second one, so I need to get another fucking memory. Uh huh. Okay, this one next. <clears throat> A special guest. So from here, huh? I had to skip a lot of dialogue. Dito sa part na to kasi it's a lot of them just talking to us. <laughs> <clears throat> Well, would you look? Ahoy there, Tra hey! Ahoy, oh, ahoy! Hi. Captain's got quite the eye for people. All I wanted was to have a chat with the Electro Archon. Look at you, I've heard that they. T 
Hey. <laughs> I was worried you'd be too busy to show up. Oh. Uh, Cap yeah, come on. Oh, he's on board. <laughs> yeah, but just... All right, I'll so it goes. No doubt about that. How but it yes. goes. So, oh, if that were... Great. Remember, isn't that why everyone... Yes? I guess I almost forgot. <laughs> just be... Skip, skip, skip. I'm glad you came. Welcome back aboard. You're on a tight ship, Captain. Nah, you're a wise leader. Some rumors have it that the leader of the Crux is so powerful <laughs> that she could slay the mighty Leviathan. She did, Hushan actually. Breaking a sweat. She didn't even have a vision then. I can't go getting too caught up in my own reputation, <clears throat> though. That's certainly not how the Crux made it to work. As the head of the fleet, my task is to keep. But then again, the crew isn't usually this run. Yep. Their excitement today comes from their great. Right. Why would I? I'm actually quite interested in the life oh, of a sailor. Is that so? Yeah, this one's you. Well, it just so happens since you're interested. But I'm curious to see if you'll take the sea by storm in the same way you have on land. All right, Captain. Show me the right. show me the ropes. Come with me. I've got something interesting for you to see. Oh God, what is this? Something interesting, huh? Have a taste of sailor training, huh? Chief Mate Juza's breaking in the newcomers. After this, the new crew members will be arranged into two teams for more. One team will learn comprehensive survival skills, mm. including mm. maritime immersion. They will serve Damn. as the support team for the fleet, ensuring safe navigation. That's why we call them the Shield of the Crux. What's the other team? The Spear of the Crux? <laughs> That's right. You catch on quick. As that seems one might expect, th that makes we sense. call the other team the Spear of the Crux, because they'll be also yep. they're responsible for handling the fleet's cargo. So, what do you think? Spear of the Crux. <laughs> you truly are an adventurer. Yep. That Let's makes start sense. With the fundamentals for any armed crew member. Follow me. Basic boat handling. <sighs> oh, yeah. Ah, here you are. These are some older oh, wave riders. boats that we keep on the Alcor as backup. <laughs> huh? Although they've been made redundant by newer models, now they're still fully kitted out. Uh -huh. Perfect for when we need to do simulated battles as part of crew training. I thought I'd be steering the Alcor in a battle simulation. <laughs> Disappointed? To be honest, the Alcor going into battle. <laughs> in fact, out of all the confrontations, uh, only nice. when negotiations fail do we consider deploying our armed. The Got only it. reason the Alcor would ever need to the Alcor serves death. only mm. two purposes: to deter or to destroy. That makes we sense. We are an armed fleet with a strong sense of justice, not war-hungry lunatics. Yep. We're very careful about determining when. To all yes, of yes. this to say that mastering. A do you have any experience piloting small armed vessels? Uh, sure do. I can even sell on fire at the same time. You mean you can do the jobs of a helmsman and a gunner simultaneously? Wow, that's a, quite an achievement. Yeah. Even in the crux, there are a few who can do that. Yeah, you know me. It's like, you're a natural. <laughs> in that case, I'll skip the basics on how to... The goal of this exercise is simple. Steer, Steer your skirmish boat skirmish along the prescribed road and return here within the time limit. You can start when you're ready. Alright. Let me, uh... Let me just, uh... Hop on here real quick. Swoosh! Let's have to collect these as well. That, that it? Yes, I do. Oh, there's like coins and shit. Yeah, these boats are kind of different from what we're used to. Oopsies! That bad that thing just appeared out of nowhere. Not my fault. <laughs> and there's more. Oh, now I have to do this. Right? Whee! Don't lag now! I might miss the fucking insignia! There you go! Hell yeah! 
Nicely done. Perfect timing on the turns, you kept your craft stable on the straightaway. It was like watching a well-rehearsed show. Hey, a lot of training sailing. <laughs> Come with me. We're... Leo at Harbor. Let's -a go. Yeah, so it seems I'm only going to be able to do one more. So this is going to be super sad because I'm so close to getting another four star. Ah, man. The frustration. The frustration is. Let's go. I have like 20 minutes now, right? Yeah, we're not gonna make it. I don't think so. No time to lose. It's a shame. You may be aware that as an arm, we work as an armed carrier. Aside from that, though, there is also one other important way. Bounties, we make consultancy, recognition for completing our business commissions. Actually, it's trading ah. in certain kinds of goods. More hey, grubber. My hot. <laughs> Cut it out. Jusa sent me here with a message. He says prep. Okay. Be careful. What's your bookkeeper doing here? Well, now? she has more a grubber was right though. The other important side importing Trading. here, exporting there. You'll see what I mean by that short. Come on, let's go meet our tra trading partner. Oh, she's running. Go. I'll follow you. If you could join faster, that'd be great. Go, 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 go! <laughs> oh, I see you guys. I see. Oh! Fresh seafood! Fresh seafood! What do you have? Hello there! Here at Nay's Professional Fish Mom. So what do you- I want a bass head with all the teeth removed. If there's a single tooth in there, I don't want it. Huh? You know bass have pharyngeal teeth, right? In the throat? How do you expect me to get all those out? Then I'll have a bass trunk with two swim bladders. Again, if it's short by one swim bladder, it's not the bass I want. You're not making this easy for me. One bass means <laughs> one swim bladder. Okay, then I'll take a bass tail with scales that are yellow on the outside, black on the inside. Also, it's gotta have- <laughs> What kind of fish scales are yellow outside? In any case, you can try all you want. Pardon my asking, but you're not a fish expert. Are you? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, ma'am, but uh, I'm afraid I don't have any of the things you're looking for. Did they say you have everything we could ask Look, for? I'm a professional. So are most of the people I serve. Anywhere you'd recommend? <laughs> like I said, Nay's professional. Why, well, amateur fish fishmongers? <laughs> All right. I bet you're wondering why that guy was saying he didn't have what we wanted. That yes, was I was. the first step in the transaction to confirm our identity. The real deal will come later. Ah, I see. It's, uh, code words. Very interesting. I'm just running across Leeway Harbor. Yeah, yeah. Welcome. Please take a seat. Ah, yes. Riveting gameplay. Wait, why? What was that? What was that course change? <laughs> How strange. Are we here yet? Oh. Ah, here you are. Fresh seafood. Is this wise amateur fit? That's the one. We what would you like? We'd like a bass head. No problem. And a bass right, trunk. Oh, no problem. And uh. a tail. Sure thing. I'll paint the scales yellow on the outside and black <laughs> on the inside, so you can tell at a glance. This ain't no ordinary. The scales add up to 81 or 7 times 7? If it's 7 times 7 you want, I can do you 81. Great. <laughs> I like your style. We have a deal. I appreciate your patronage. Please, take your order to our warehouse manager. Want okay. to have the fisher? <laughs> a real amateur if I've ever met one. Proud to have you as a customer. No, we don't have the fish here. All fish sold at Y. Still swimming in the sea. The order in from the customer. We go fish it out for them. Ah. Fish, then we bring you the goods. Ah, I see. <laughs> it's very cool. 
No time to lose. Very cool uh, talk. Hello, Iron Abacus. Are you two here to collect your order, huh, Bade? <coughs> yes, sir. We're here about <laughs> that bass. I didn't expect you to come in person, but we still. The bass you want is not a step. You know. Of course. What rules? <laughs> Well, as you know, timing and locate. So, let me ask. The fishing song will sound out at midnight. How drunk will the moon be uh -huh. before? It won't stop while the star of death shines. I see, yes. Uh, which? The breeze should be bound for Guyon. All right, then. Well received. Great. I think that wraps up everything we needed to do in Liyue Harbor. Let's head back and wait for the delivery. <laughs> what do all those riddles the mean? The three people we just met are our business partners. Nay's perfect the bass, obviously, the is goods, the code yep. name for the goods. Uh -huh. Meanwhile, the conversation I had with the warehouse instructions was for the deal. To instruct tonight okay. at midnight. The deal will take yep. place in Guyan Stone. As okay. for what the actual goods are, well, you'll see tonight. It's also a serious. It is shady as it seems. What if I were to say yes? What would you do then? <laughs> Try and persuade Ning Guang to give you a light sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. But don't worry, everything will be fine. I deeply value- I definitely okay. don't want to cause oh. you any- So, rest assured, we- At least not today. <laughs> Hell yeah! I wanna break some rules. I wanna break some laws. Got a Guyun. Unfortunately, I will only be able to have one pull, I think. Or not even one pull. I don't think it'll be enough. <sighs> Man, so close! <laughs> Wait till early morning. Fuck, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Captain Beto. Well, my friend is visiting, so I wanted to show him how the- I see. You got that right. Have you brought the goods? Yep, all here. Stop. We have received oh. certain information pertaining to a potential <laughs> business transaction at this location. The fucking Millilith. Apologies, Captain Beto. But I'm going to need to inspect those goods. Oh no. Should I distract him while Beto retreats? No. An illegal business transaction, you say? Well, all the goods are here. If you have any <laughs> suspicions, please inspect them at your leisure. The middle checks the goods. C Captain, everything's been checked. It's just a huh? Uh. Everything's been checked thrice over. There's not a single <laughs> contraband. Looks like you've managed to clear everything up. Yes. Uh, apologies. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Bravo, Captain Beto. This was rather ingenious. Wait a second, what's going on? Seems like your friend still <laughs> has a little catching up to do. <laughs> I know you have a lot of questions. Well, I'll leave you both to it. All right. All right. You probably thought that there was some sort of nefarious business going on behind all the secrecy today. The truth is, that was exactly what oh. I wanted the Ministry of Civil Affairs to believe. Well, why? What you might not know is that I, as the leader of the Crux fleet, and you, the great hero of Liyue Harbor, have both been on the Ministry ah. of Civil Affairs watch list for a long time. I see. In other words, whenever you or I crop up in Liyue Harbor, it almost always draws their attention. Mmm, I see. Not that there's any animosity behind it, mind you. In their words, it's a security precaution to prevent people like us from causing unnecessary trouble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have no qualms about that. They're There's just a doing their money job thing the over there. But how does that saying go again? Ah, yes. Sometimes the closer you are to something, the less you can see. Yeah. Did you figure it out yet? That's right. Mora Grubber, the accountant. She was already doing stuff already. With you, me, and a few sacks of potatoes and flour serving as a front, the deal she's overseeing on her end should go off without a hitch. Yeah. After all, the Ministry of Civil Affairs sent the Millilith yep. to us. <laughs> big brain, big brain Looking moment. At the time, it should be. Look, that's. Woo! <laughs> Do you have any more questions? I have a feeling Ning Guang is not so easy to You're fool. Right. Never underestimate her. 
She knows that neither you nor I in any case, there's another higher level watch list at the Ministry of Civil Affairs, mm. but I do know that the <laughs> probably pantalon, right? Off topic. Reason being, I'm the only one who can get her some of the more obscure treasures she wants. What's the real deal? It's all you need to know is that what might be easily attainable for some people can often be a lifesaver for others uh, who can't get them. That's okay. where we come in. It's as simple as that. New medicine? <laughs> You still have some important things to take care of, don't you? Ah, as long as of you course. Don't know what I was referring to, you'll be safe. So <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't tell you for now. Of course, All right. if the day comes when you've traveled to every corner of the world. Oh, come on, don't do this to me, Beto. Sends along the way. You're welcome to come back here, and I'll tell you all about it. Don't do that. You'll always be welcome. <laughs> I hope I get to see you on board again someday. That's really foreboding, you know that? <laughs> Green Buyers Club. Oh, that's a beautiful screenshot. Alright. How many we have left? 16 minutes? You're kidding! I still don't have enough. <laughs> oh, it's not enough. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's so sad. What else do we have? Well, uh... <clears throat> Alright, come on. Still got... Ruth. <sighs> Man! I'm... I am miffed. Chief Mate Juza's breaking. After this, the one team will learn. They will serve yep, as yep, the yep, support yep, yep, team yep, yep, for yep, the yep. fleet, ensuring. <laughs> that's right. As one might also, there was so. The shield. <laughs> uh, there are two main sub. As I was saying earlier, you can go learn about these skills from Yinxing, Hoixing, and Liu They're all seasoned hands in their respective fields. I thought they would be learning from you, Cat. Each sailor has. If there's <laughs> anything, I go Aww. and get to work. That's cute. Uh. He really is a good leader. All right, uh, Yenxing, please tell me some. Hello, traveler. Whenever a sailor a surgeon. has a health problem, they come to. Like oh, to learn about treating. I presume. But first of all, let me ask you this. Uh. What do you think is the biggest danger that all new crew members face? Getting seasick. Hmm. That can serve. Ah, it's not. I have seen many new crew members who seem. Yep, yep. Those are the ones that always end up in the sick. We have to face malnutrition. malnutrition. Even the cycle to make mm. things worse. The last. the need for amputations? <laughs> oh, you probably thought I was joking, right? But hopefully you now realize that with a little. Well, I think that's enough. Is All there right. anything else you would like to know? Uh, well, remember, since you oh. have their limbs. Are you concerned about if you can convince Mora Grubber to show you the, the books? Book, you'll see, okay. regardless of the fleet's income, some of oh. those that have returned to let the money is intended to oh. still. We can't pretend like that. Mm. If nothing else, is there anything else you would like to know? Wow. Yeah, that's all good. <laughs> My pleasure. Okay, yeah, I'm fine with that. I need, I need to finish this. I need, I need, I need, I need, I need the primos. <laughs> I need to do at least one more pull, please. Washing, <laughs> please give me my primos. Sorry about we were so caught up on. Ah, uh, it's the okay. Oh, I'll start by introducing some. Let's start with first each with these features and visually not the most advanced. It's worth mentioning that under some cartographers mark out other. For example, <laughs> yep, 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 <laughs> yep, 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 yep. But if we don't, dis fortunately, I don't think anyone other than our. Oops. Uh, is there anything else you would like to know, Trap? Nothing else. Project? Thank you. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm skipping over a lot of dialogue here, but I I really want that. Where up there? Come on! <laughs> and not making this easy. God damn it! Uh. Fuck! <laughs> I couldn't make it to over there in time. Okay, let's go back. Can I get more primos, please? I just need for like two pulls and I'll be happy. Ah, man. I'm really not gonna get Hazo. Yeah. 
Okay, let's just calm down for a second. You're fucking kidding, right? <laughs> Why? Why did it jump over there? Oh my god. Come on. Get me up there, please. Thank you. Okay, okay, let's stop here, let's stop here. Like, how many minutes left? <laughs> I said it's 10 minutes! Ah. <laughs> I'm so sad, I'm not gonna make it! Oh no! Oh, I'm so close though! Hello! Please! Hello, Hello you... yes! <laughs> I saw the captain showing you, so I figured that she probably wants you to get- You're a real knack for your work. <laughs> Marine meat. These are all put- Take water sp- But, if you know that water sp- You will be even- And most important- So there you go. Those are the- <sighs> All the stuff- Do you know the small- Later, when I first came on board, but as I- After Sorry, all, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Has... Find Bad me crown lord of the want. ocean. Thank you. Really hope this is the last one, but it's probably not. Probably a few more after this. Hello. Hmm? So you've already finished talking to the crew, huh? <laughs> I thought it would take you a while longer. It was a little hard, but I can handle it. <laughs> First of all, life on the sea. But what is the sink? Uh, amputations. Mm -hmm. Is that your final answer? Have yes, it is. Learned the fleet plots its route using nautical charts. Shit! It's just, just a quiz. The supplementary chart has lots of lines and very. What is the purpose of these lines? A lot of lines are going for very close for added reference. Uh, um, um, um. Sure. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. On longer voyages, we have to be especially. So, my question is how. Probably why we predict water spots. <laughs> um, CJX says the water spots coming. The present dark clouds and strong winds. The present dark clouds and strong winds. The problem is the blue wings of white spots. And... Okay. Those are all my questions. Congratulations, you. Uh, <laughs> I did pass. Didn't see. Did you get them wrong on purpose? Nah, just kidding. I know you wouldn't do. In that case, how about we take a trip back to Liu? I've actually been hoping for the chance to give you an insider look. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna make it anywhere. Fuck, man. Seriously, I was 50 primo short. <laughs> Ah, man! Oh well. Here's, here's hoping they, get, they give a rerun. I will be patiently waiting for the next Hazo banner. I really want to get that guy. Seriously? Eight minutes? Come on. You still have some primo somewhere. <laughs> nah, there's really no more. God you may it. be aware that as an armed fleet, we work as an armed care. Aside from that, though, there is also one other important way we make. Actually, it's trading. It's In trading. Kinds. Hey, <laughs> cut it. Jusa sent me here. Okay. B. Well, more a grubber importing here. You'll see what I mean. Come on. Uh, I think I've already done this one. I think I can abandon this at this point. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to this again. Bye, Beto. Uh, it's kind of sad. Well, I he I need to pass the test in order to to get that one right. Really, nothing else I can do. Seven minutes remaining. Please! Wait, wait, no, 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 I got this, I got this. I have an idea. I have an idea. Okay, just this once, I'm going to use my, my, uh, star glitters. I'm gonna use my star glitters just this once. If it doesn't get me anything, I am fine. Fuck! 
fucking got me a fucking Winston of all things. It's not even a fucking character. Come on. <laughs> a fucking Winsith? Oh my god. A oh, goddamn Winsith. I got I got a fucking weapon for Hazo, but not the actual fucking character. No! Oh, I'm so mad. Oh, man. You can't be serious. God damn it. <sighs> All right, that's that. Pet. Unfortunately, Beto, a Beto, Hazo has not arrived to us today. This place is pretty bad. <laughs> Fuck you, child. The guy let gay child for no apparent reason. Man, that sucks. It's unfortunate. Five minutes remaining. We did not get Hazo. It get a fucking. I mean, there's Sith. nothing to kill. <laughs> fucking Witsith. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the gotcha pain. Ah, uh, well, it's all right. Ah, uh, where is that? Oh yeah, that's automatically locked. Okay, it's good. It's good enough. I am still lacking on like catalyst weapons, so this this is a fine addition to it anyway. But yeah, the true cope begins now. <laughs> I got a f ah! <laughs> oh man, I got a fucking four star weapon instead of a character. The one time it could have been different. Give me a fucking weapon. Ah, ah, it stings. Oh, that stings. All right. All right, well, nothing we can do about it. It's gotcha. Can you do? Well, it's time to save for Zhongli because I'm. I think I've decided not to pull for Tanari or Taknari. Yeah, I'll go pull Sanya because apparently we're getting Kole for free anyway, and Kole's and Kole is who I want to get anyway. So, yeah. That'd be great. So, yeah, I guess I'll just uh, play everything now, save for save for Zhongli when he comes, and then hopefully <laughs> we get a Hazo rerun because I really want to get him. I'm so sad. I am so sad. Animal boys are not complete. Ah, man. That's the sad thing about trying it, like looking for four stars. I feel, parang, uh, to some degree, parang mas mahirap pasi ng makuha sa five stars, eh? Like, especially to get the one that you want. <laughs> ah, man. That's unfortunate. So I wanted to get uh, I wanted to get Hazo, but I got I, I, I got Ningguang and Thoma. To be honest, I probably would have preferred to have gotten Ningu uh, Thoma instead of Ningguang. Cause I don't really have any teams for Ningguang right now, so it's not really much I can do with that. Like Ningguang is C5. Come on, <laughs> Ningguang is C5. Uh, who else is like up, up there? Uh, yeah, I got, I got, I got an extra constellation, Kaithoma. <coughs> but that's basically it. And then, yun lang, yun lang nakuha ko. <laughs> Buti nga nakuha ko si Kuki last time eh, pero uh, I don't, I don't have that many teams to work with her ngayon. So I'm on the process of making another team, which I do have a team for her right now, pero uh, I'm hoping na pagdating ng Andendro, this will work great. You know, She'll work there are even better, better ways to seek out our enemies you know? than, well, standing here. Huh? Honestly, you're probably gonna need 
Tanari, Tanari and the Kole together. So Kole would act like as a dendro battery. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the, the but that seems like what it should be, right? So you need the you're gonna need the battery for for uh, for a character. So you don't have to spend so much time to energy recharge, huh? Yeah, either way. Also of C2 Goro C1 Rosaria Chong Yun C4 <laughs> C1 Sayu <laughs> Yeah Oh yeah, my official I created another universe and founded paradise. You're going to ask official and the princess and different my official isn't leveled because I only got her recently since this is like my second account. But I do have her on my first account. Which I don't know how But yeah. Scale, no doubt. I do have official on my first account because I have her when uh, his first banner. But yeah, sadly, sadly, I don't play that account any much anymore. But hey, I got Kasuha. So hey, that's, that's one thing, right? I can work on my t that my teams will work a lot better now if I build them. Say, so, I mean, it's sad that I don't get Hazo, but at least it. Hindi siya masada magi impact sa gameplay ko since I don't necessarily need Hazo. I just want I just want Hazo because I want to get all of the animal characters, and because you know, animal characters are just so much fun. Like, kung nababansin mo yung mga play styles na there's. Like, are so fun, like especially Sayu. The first time when I hit on the Sayu, I thought I thought her kit was really fun. It's like a little na gulong gulong kalan dun eh. When you deal damage, you even heal your teammates. Ah, uh, it's so fun. You have evaded me today, Hazo. Someday you will arrive in my in my thing. Someday, a week again. Yeah, look at this. I already I, I have all of the animo characters except except for Hazel. <laughs> God. Mm. Well, now that my ranting is over, the banner will be gone at this point. Yep. <sighs> Today is Tuesday, so tomorrow is Yoi Mia Day. So the start of my saving will begin tomorrow. Uh, and I thought actually if I should pull for Bennett. Or Yoimi as banner, but I don't think it's a good idea. <laughs> I say I'm on 40 pity right now. <laughs> so if I try to pull for Bennett and I don't get him, pas nakuha ko si Yoimi over by accident, it would be really bad. Because I I'm not gonna use Yoimi that much. You see, even though I don't have a pyro DPS, I'm still working on these two, and I'm still working on these. Ayan na yung test run. <laughs> yeah, alright. Yeah, I'm still working on my my two main themes, which is yung permafreeze team ko with... Uh, Yoimiya... Uh, <laughs> Yoimiya talaga yung sinabi ko. I mean, yung permafreeze team ko with Ayaka, Venti, Diona, and uh, Kokomi. Tapos, syempre yung Child International team ko with, with this, this current comp. So... Yeah, you know, I just, yeah. I can't really afford to build any other uh, um, teams right now, except for if ever na natapos ko na to, the next team that I'm going to build is definitely my Shao team. My Shao team and my Taser team with Beidou. So, where I'm from, if we didn't keep moving, we'd freeze. Oh, I'm not child! Why are you talking to me? Why are you talking to me? Why are you talking to me? screen. <laughs> yeah, anyway. If you ever <sighs> Copium aside. It it was fun. I think I think I'll just do a Beidou's quest again. Uh let's do it from let's do it from the top. Cause I wanna really get into this. So Yeah, let's do it. Let's start from Uh what did I not do? This one, right? This one a little bit. It's not much on the on the. Not much on the immersive story. So let's just do this. Let's do this one. 
This is the, like the fourth ending, right? So there should be two more, Dito, I guess. Yeah, there should be two more there. Mm. Yes, I am. <laughs> this place is pretty dead. By which I mean, there's nothing to kill. Oh, that's cute. Oh, hi. <sighs> Man, I'm still kind of bummed out by that. Strange transaction. Okay, so I, I basically got the gist of this now. Anyway, so um, we can we can go we can go do this, and I'm actually gonna wait. I'm in co-op mode. Oh, that's the pot palapa. Hang on, the bus not light either. Switch to this. Such a shame. Such a massive shame. You have left the current Serenity teapot and will return to your home world. Tagal. <laughs> Tagal maglood. We can take it we can take it slow now. Uh, actually, I can do. Um, but I can go in the trial run the Yoimi. I think. So, yeah. Uh, actually, na try ko na rin naman si Yoimi. Actually, nung first na first time niya, uh, first time niya lamang basa banner. And she's pretty fun. She's pretty fun. She's definitely fun. Thundering Pulse and Summit Summit Shaper. Chart this course, even though hindi man ako gupol sa weapon banner. And I rarely, rarely, rarely even do this. Say I. Uh, I, I believe that I can get weapons for my characters uh, uh, for four star weapons and I don't have I just want to get the characters I don't necessarily have to spend on this unless uh, satisfied now with the characters that I have and none of them interest me anymore well Yunjin is here like that uh, none of them interest me too much but yeah Or fifty pesos. Okay, let's do this test run first. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna just get the get this out of the way. It's rare to see actually Bennett Saban there because I haven't seen him in a while in the band. Maybe, maybe I can just forget it. He probably has, but... What's cool about Yoimiya is that her attacks are... Her attacks are like... Um, what's it called? Ranged, so... You wouldn't necessarily need. Why am I, why am I using the one? You wouldn't usually need. Um... What's it called? You wouldn't need. Uh, it, she would be useful sa mga. Um. Mga characters na. Ay, sa mga enemies na kailangan ng range. Or like sa enemies na nalipad. Yun, yun na lang. It's so, madaling, you know, I'm distract ako. But yeah. She would definitely mu be much more useful in those kinds of situations. And in that way, I acknowledge that she's a really good DPS as well. But yeah. Right now, I don't really need her. 
so I'm not gonna be pulling for her. And even I like her, honestly I like her design, but it's not enough for me to pull based just based on that. So unfortunately I am gonna have to skip. I had no Bennett's banner. Leave it all to me. But yeah, basically this is like Yo and Mia in a nutshell. Just do a lot of normal attacks and stuff and you do all that damage. Just fuck in combine mush with like Sing Chu or Yelan. Ah, that's great. See, I've seen a lot of showcase videos with no with Yo and Mia actually, and they're pretty great. Does so much damage. It tapos ano pa? It's very easy to use. If I'm if I'm like having making an opinion. So. In a way, yung kit niya, well no actually it's, sabihin ko sana yung kit niya is a bit similar to Child's but no it's not. <laughs> it is absolutely far in terms of their the difference. Yeah, anyway, let's see Bennett, I mean it's, it's Bennett. <laughs> what, what, what do we have to say about Bennett? He's just the most versatile support in the game. He's just Let's light it up. He's just so good. Everybody stand back. Huh? You're toast. At the right hand. Let's light it up. Boga, boom boga. I've seen a lot of people actually use uh, Bennett for um as a, as a main dps and i thought that was really funny <laughs> i said that's dope like he can like put mugging main dps while also uh while also boosting your team that's sick you know he's one of the he's probably the most i think it, it still stands na siya pa rin yung ano like pinaka op na support sa genshin Still thinking about how I didn't get it, so <sighs> yeah, you know, honestly, there is not really that much, but there's not really any point in thinking about it too much anymore. There's really nothing you can really do at this point. It's just, it's it's gone. <laughs> I just didn't get lucky enough, you know. Alright, so Shinya and Ashley have tried using before. And if I remember correctly, her kit is like. Uh, her, kit is, her, her kit is interesting. Yeah. This seems pretty fun, right? Look, there's a lot of people out there that actually do like Shinian. I mean, I. I don't know how much I'm going to because I don't really have any place for her. Yeah. Oh, so sorry. You're in for a little shock. See that again. I feel like I'm not going to utilize the Mayas. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is to. This, 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 and there you go. Surrender now. Oh, 
She seems quite she seems quite fun to use, I'm not gonna lie. I like Claymore users. Say, uh, I, I was a Razor main, but go na ko si si Child. <laughs> like Child was the only DPS that I had before. Say, I didn't have that many good uh, characters before, so. Surrender and I'll be gentle. Come a little closer. You've been oh, so Alright, that's good enough. Another character that I actually want to get, that I actually want to boost up is Lisa. I like her kit. <laughs> just, it, it's just, it, parang ano kasi, yun yun, yun yung parang gist when you're like playing these types of games. You know, you don't have to constrict, you, have, you don't have to restrict yourself to playing teams that are strong just because they're strong like you have to have, you have to like them as well yeah uh, you know I, I like i like child so i put him in a shangling team in a in a in a, in a international team so i put him there because it's a good team and i also like child so there you go i put i put xiao in another team and then i use that because i like child i, I like xiao xiao's uh uh, Shao's um, gameplay is super fun, so I want to use him. But since I don't have the, <coughs> I don't have the the people, <laughs> the the characters that you are most likely supposed to use with him to give him the best performance, I put him somewhere else, and I still had fun. Yeah, yeah. I I I I later fucked it up and I. There you go. Boom. Your grand finale. I must leave no stone unturned. Time to clean up. Oh, did I get? Flag fly. Leave it all to me. Break a leg. As a good man. No simula ng game, like the first account ko actually, I really wanted to, to get, uh, I really wanted to try out uh, DPS Noel. Because, you know, I like the unconventional teams. <laughs> like, I know Noel isn't like the most, the most high, the highest damage dealer in this game. But I don't care. Seeing a defense-based character deal so much fucking damage, that's that's just crazy to me. I want to play that. <laughs> but yeah, it would be really hard to aim for that, and you should be able to get that in like a while. But you shouldn't be trying to aim for that always. So it'll end up costing you a lot of resources. I mean, if you do have the money, though, you should. Yeah. I mean, you could. <laughs> you could, but at the end of the day, it's your choice. So still, yeah. Alright, so that's where the... That's the uh, test runs done. Joey Mia's banner is finally here. And sadly, again, <laughs> I did not get Hazo. <laughs> let's, do this, uh, let's do this hangout quest, huh?
Normally at this point, I probably wouldn't really have any much more to do here. I'll be here to lang talaga. save for when Zhongli comes. See, if I don't have a Tsuknari, I'll have more to pull on um, Zhongli. Which I am kind of nervous about, I'm not gonna lie, because I'm not guaranteed, but... You know, we could get lucky. <laughs> you never know. I thought it would take you a while longer. So, what did you think? Alright. They're pretty difficult. <laughs> There's that modest. First of all, life on the sea. But what is the sink? Cold weather, getting seasick, amputations. I think it is amputations. Wait, 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 wait. Hmm? Is that your final answer? As you've just learned, the fleet plot the supplementary chart has lots of lines and various. Um. Okay. Currents. Interest on longer voyages. We have. So if if I get this wrong again, then I will we gladly go back. Okay. Congratulations, you. Yeah, I didn't pass in. Did you get the mm -hmm. yeah, Just. <laughs> I've actually been. Okay. Let me just uh, get back here. <laughs> Let me just get back here and abandon this uh, quest again, because I wanna. I actually wanna do this legitimately. No worries. No worries. I won't skip everything. <laughs> right. No! Maybe report back to Beto. So you've already finished talking to the crew, huh? God damn it! Well, you Gotta admit, though, I like. First of all, but what <coughs> is the? Uh, getting seasick. As you've just left the supplementary. Okay. Locations. On longer voyage. So my quest. Okay. Congratulations. Hmm. Did you get them? Ah, just in that case. <laughs> no, I wasn't I listening to the lessons. I'm sorry, Beto. <laughs> Abandon. Okay. Now let's go back to here. To this point, when I can still talk to them about stuff. There we go. There we go. I'm from Yinsheng. Hello. I am here to listen Hello, to your traveler. words this time. I'm Yinsheng. The Crux's surgeon at sea. Whenever a sailor has a health problem, they come to me. I deal with it all, from seasickness and common colds to amputations and everything in between. I'd like to learn about treating injuries and illnesses oh, at sea. I presume the captain arranged this, correct? All right then, let's begin. First of all, let me ask you this. What do you think is the biggest danger that all new crew members face? Losing a limb? Hmm. That can certainly be a problem at sea, but it's not the biggest danger. The most dangerous thing for a newcomer is to underestimate the dangers of life at sea. Oh, I have seen many new crew members who see themselves as young and fighting fit and have no regard for safety. They think that since they are tough enough to look after themselves on land, they'll be fine at sea as well. Those I see. are the ones that always end up in the sick bay. Everyone should know that being a sailor, especially on a long voyage, is a brutal job in an unforgiving environment. We have to face malnutrition and mm. even the psychological to make things worse. The lack of medication and treatment options at sea can result in even minor... <laughs> oh, you probably thought I was joking, right? But hopefully you now realize... That... Well, I think that's enough. Is there anything else you would like What's to Beto's know, view on Captain this? Beto? <laughs> Although I'm just a doctor... Beto has given me the full authority to send any newcomers who I don't see as fit for service off the ship until they are ready to come back with the right attitude. I Every see. time we're stocking up before a voyage, medicine takes top priority. I'm even allowed to choose the suppliers, regardless of the price. 
We have adequate budget for medical expenses. Do you know what Mora Grubber, our bookkeeper, calls this? A significant financial <laughs> risk. <laughs> but Beto knows the importance of having a healthy crew. She places her full trust in... So, That's nice. to answer your question, is there anything else you would like to know? Hmm. Are you... If you can convince, regardless of the fleet's income, though some of those... That yeah, I'm worried this already. Still, but if nothing else... Is there anything else you would like to know? Okay. Wow. <laughs> so basically, the the option is that. Uh... Yeah. They underestimate the sea, I guess. Something along those lines. I don't know. Sorry about earlier. We were so caught up on getting you to join the fleet that we didn't notice we were going a little overboard. Good thing the captain stepped in. It's okay. I was hoping to learn a little more about cartography. Oh. Well, in that case, you have come to the right person. I'm not just blowing smoke. You're looking at the most talented navigator in Liyue Harbor. I'll start by introducing some chart reading essentials for new sailors. Feel free to interrupt if you have any questions. Let's start with what to look for when you get a set of complicated charts. First, you should always look at any indicated shorelines. Islands or reefs, water depths, hydrological conditions, and other hazards. Right. With these features in mind, you can answer the basic question of, can I chart a safe course through this area? Visually, nautical charts are a little unique. Unlike land maps, most charts do not have a fixed scale, which means that it can be hard to precisely determine the exact distance between two points. Mm -mm -mm. The most advanced nautical charts come with a supplementary chart, which has different colored lines marked on it to indicate distances. Uh, the most advanced nautical charts come with a supplementary chart. Different colored lines marked on it. It's worth mentioning that under my direction, some cartographers mark out other points of interest on their charts, usually with their own special symbols. If they don't leave any accompanying <coughs> notes, they can be very difficult to interpret. For example, charts inherited from their pre <laughs> Not only those, we have tattered and torn charts that we've picked up from all over the place. To be honest, it can be quite a challenge, even for me. Some of these charts are really old and have symbols that I've never seen before. It's but if crazy. we don't decipher them, we will certainly miss many secrets of the sea. Fortunately, we have the captain with us. She managed- mm. I don't think anyone other than our captain can manage to get these kinds of resources. Oh, oops. I've gotten off topic. <laughs> Is there anything else you would like to know, Traveler? Drafting, Drafting charts? charts? That's certainly a more advanced- The charts we are using now are just revised versions of- So my mapping experiences have been primarily limited. I think you can ask Captain Beto more about Kartok. One time, the fleet sailed into an uncharted area by mistake. It wasn't long before we turned the fleet around and returned the way we came out for fear of potential hazards. But mm. Captain Beto still managed to draft a simple chart of the area. Oh, cool. Incredible, isn't it? I was amazed to see that the captain could even do cartography. What does she need to use an navigator? Because I have the talent, and she doesn't want to let it go to waste. <laughs> she treats the whole crew that way. I initially That's nice. had the same question myself. After all, in many fleets, the captain also works as a navigator. I couldn't understand her reasoning at the time, so I asked her. She just laughed and told me to wise up, saying that even Rex Lapis never fights <laughs> alone. That's true. She wants everyone on board to master their role, so that the crux is not floating on her alone. That way, if the day ever comes when she's no longer with the fleet, we will still be able to sail onward without her. That's sad. Captain Beto may seem aloof and even act careless sometimes, but the truth is that she's very considerate of everyone on board. Is there anything else you would like to know, Traveler? Alright, I'm good. No time to lose. Shulu she. This again. I wonder what's going on. Yeah. 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 Stay here for a bit. Get my stamina back up. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
now we are up. <coughs> sana naman, oh fuck. Sana naman may events pa para makapag-ipon pa ako ng Primus. Kasi hindi ako makakasurvive ng ganito lang kaunti Primus ko. <laughs> Ay! Hello, traveler. Are you here to learn about marine meteorology? <laughs> In my, I saw the captain showing you around the training grounds. And so I figured that she probably wants you to get to know the life of a crew member. I have a real knack for your work. Looks like Beta got it right. <laughs> okay, let's get started. First, I'll introduce you to the basics of meteorology. Marine meteorology basically means keeping tabs on the weather as well as other ocean phenomena. So th yep. these are all potential <coughs> threats to safe <coughs> navigation. Take mm. water spouts, for example. They're caused by high-speed rotating, rotating winds, winds on the surface, surface of the, of the ocean. ocean. They can engulf large ships, and, but if you know that water spouts can only form in an environment with high temperature, high humidity, and large clouds, then you can be well prepared. Temp. You will be even more alert if you also know that the presence of winds blowing in opposite directions, with a significant difference in speed, is a direct precursor to the formation of water spouts. That's a lot of weird stuff you're saying to me. <laughs> and most importantly, if you spot a small white vortex emerging from the clouds, ah. you should immediately notify the crew to steer clear of what's ahead. So there you go. Those are the warning signs of water spouts. I am proud to say that over the years, I haven't let a single one sneak up on my watch. You have a sharp eyesight. Well, I'm good at reading the sea, but I'm not as good as the captain when it comes to reading people. <laughs> Do you know the small fishing village next to Wang Shuin? I heard that uh -huh. later she made her so way I'll to the harbor in. where she struggled to make mm. a living. <laughs> Managing to survive in an environment yeah. like that. If it wasn't for her, I never would have dreamed of taking this job. You may not have heard, but I'm best known outside the Crux fleet for a slightly infamous story <laughs> involving me, third round knockout, and a few too many. I I feel like I have, but I kind of forgot. Who would ever have thought that the rookie sailor who fell drunk into the sea oh. and became a laughingstock, and then now former crewmates? Yeah, I feel like I've heard this story before. To look out for the crux, but it's the unbelievable truth. It proves that having skills alone is not enough. You need someone like the captain who is a good judge of character. Thanks for your time. I think I'll learn all that I need. Find me now. anytime if you want to know more. Maybe they will say, actually say something. Find me anytime if you want. Okay, fine. Kalau may extra pa silang information na namis ko last time. Okay. So you've already finished talking to the crew, huh? I thought it would take you a while longer. So, what did you think? It was pretty difficult. I'll need some time to review. There's that modesty of yours again. I didn't think I'd ever heard the word difficult come out of your mouth. Come on, let's get on with it. First of all, life on the sea isn't always plain sailing. Injuries, but what is the single biggest... Underestimating danger. Yep, mm -hmm. see, I know this that one. your final answer? <laughs> all right, on to the second question. As you've just learned, the fleet plots its route using nautical charts. The charts used by the Crux have additional charts <laughs> attached. The supplementary chart has lots of lines... Oh yeah, what was this one again? Um... Various lines for added reference. <laughs> this one is long, but it's not that. Uh, supplementary charts, lots of lines of various colors for added reference. What is the purpose of these lines? I forgot what this was again. Uh, fuck. Well, this one's, uh, I don't know. Various colors, lots of lines for various colors. To mark different types of currents, I feel like. Okay. Interesting, interesting. On longer voyages, we have to be... Yep, yep. So, my question is... Vortices. Vortices. Okay, that was... Now then... There we see. go. Out of these three questions, you got a total of two correct answers. Yep. Huh, not bad. After all, you didn't have much time to prepare. Plenty of people get through their whole training and still don't do this well. The second question was the one I got wrong. <laughs> survival know-how is now up to the standard required of qualified crew members. Time to move on. Next up, we have some <laughs> Shield of the Crux recreational programs for you. To be clear, wrestling sea monsters with bare hand is not my idea of recreation. <laughs> Don't worry. All our recreational activities are respectable and uh, above board. 
You need to realize that being out at sea might be fun for the first few days while everything's new, but before too long, looking at the same old sea every day and being so isolated from everything can really cause people to struggle mentally. Yep. That is why regular <coughs> recreational activities are an absolute necessity. Yeah. We offer a lot of fun courses for our newcomer training, including fishing, photography, chess. Oh, and thanks to Kazuha, these days we ah, also offer poetry nice. and music appreciation, <laughs> as well as communal wind listening. <laughs> Whatever that means. Each newcomer has to participate in at least one, so that they've got some way of keeping themselves occupied at sea further down the line. Of course, if you'd prefer wrestling sea monsters <laughs> with your bare hands, that can be arranged. I was just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, for today, at least, let's stick to the training schedule drawn up by Juza. If I remember correctly, it should be photography today. Ah, photography, on, huh? I'll show you. Wah! Photography class. Oh, I need one of these. That's cool. Hey, Juza. Listen up, everyone can go back and call it a day. The photography session has been postponed. Oh, what? What's going on here, Juza? Oh, Captain, there you are. Well, Captain, the photography teacher just sent word saying that she's fallen oh, ill and that's doesn't sad. want to risk coming in in case she kills over in class. I see. That's quite unfortunate. Yeah, indeed. Captain, if I may, I know a little about oh. photography. <laughs> quite the multi-talented one, aren't you? In that case, why don't you help us out and lead the class today? All right, I'm gonna go teach you all about photography. Yeah. Unfortunately, the original teacher canceled at short notice, so there's no time to schedule anything else instead. It would be great if the traveler could step in as the teacher for the day. It's up to you, traveler. It'd be my pleasure. Great, it's settled then. Juza, let's muster everyone over here to meet the new teacher. <laughs> yes, Captain. Okay, that's one, two, three, four. That should be everyone. Take it away, traveler. Before I begin, I do have one condition. Oh yeah? What's that? Since this is a photography course, there has to be a subject. We will need a model. Fair enough. It seems like you already have someone in mind. <laughs> so, who will it be? There you go. Me? <laughs> well, well, we could do that, or... <laughs> Guyan Stone Forest looks extraordinary today. It'd be pity to not capture the scenery for posterity. Oh, come on, Beto. Come on. So, how about we snap Guyan Stone Forest for today's class? Then there'd be no need for a model. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I think, on, I think Captain, Captain will be great. The photography <laughs> class is supposed to be portrait photography. Have you forgotten? Scenery looks nice at first, but it gets boring after a while. I bet it'd keep the crew more entertained if we got them learning <laughs> portrait photography so they could record moments in each other's daily lives. How can we not take a photo Those of Captain Beto? Words, Captain. <laughs> Where are they now? <laughs> I don't seem to remember anything about that. Well, then in that case, how about Hushing? I bet she's perfect for the camera. Hey, come on. Or Fujong. Or more a grubber, even little Yue. <laughs> what do you? Why not? Seriously, Captain, little Yue? You're just trying to wiggle your way out of this. This isn't like you. <laughs> you are the captain, after all. Of all of us, you're the best suited to being a model. I agree. You were the one who invited the traveler to be the teacher, so you should cooperate, Captain. Kind of feel guilty now, forcing him to do this, but. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, Captain, you've never had your photo taken. It's high time you got one. You know, a heroic and striking kind of picture. Hell yeah. We can even use it to promote the fleet <laughs> during recruitment. <sighs> Real funny, guys. <laughs> Trust your Kuro, Captain. You are the best candidate. Well, if you say so. <laughs> I'm not one to spoil the fun. <laughs> so, what do I do now, Traveler? Smile and be happy. Um, like, 
This? <laughs> uh, you look a little stiff. <laughs> You're kidding, right? I've never had my photo taken before. <laughs> Something this simple shouldn't be a challenge for me. It must be the lighting or something. You've got it wrong. And I'm glad I saved this one for last. This is the best one so far. <laughs> Perhaps you feel uncomfortable with so many people around. I never said that. We can go somewhere quieter. You mean go somewhere else then bring the final photo back as teaching material? Sounds good to me. <laughs> That's a good idea, isn't it, guys? <laughs> hmm. The lighting may still be a problem. But I'm open to persuasion. If you have a suitable place to go, I can She's shy! It. Come on, Beto. How can you be shy Just about that? Just to be clear, I won't necessarily agree. It depends on the place you have in mind. Mm. A fishing village near Wangshu Inn over the top of Mount Tianhong. Uh, I like that. Though. A view overlooking Liyue Harbor, huh? <clears throat> Sounds nice, but on second thought, I don't have any love for a lifeless gadget <laughs> like the camera. Come on! I prefer to be having fun together with my crew. I guess I'm used to that rowdy bunch. So I think we can just forget the whole modeling thing for now. <laughs> there you go. Know. I guess I'll owe you a favor. Brah! Make us a hearty laugh and needs a photography class. Come on, come on. All right, let's, let's, let's uh... What's going on here? Oh, gosh, I'm gonna pick the well, fishing village this time. That's... Oh? In that case? Yeah. We need uh, to get a picture of Beto. My pleasure. Hey, yes, Captain. Okay, that's one... Oh, yeah? What's that? Fair enough. So, who will it be? I think. Me? Yep, yep, Green. yep, yep. So, so how about? Come on, scenery looks. Those were your exact. <laughs> well, <laughs> seriously, Cap, you are the cap. I agree. Besides, Cap, we can even. <sighs> Just your crew, well, Captain. So, what do I do now, Traveler? How about you strike an epic pose? Uh, hmm. uh, like this. <laughs> you look a little nervous. <laughs> You're kidding, right? It must be <laughs> the lighting. Or something. I feel like comfortable with so many people I around. Never said that. We can go somewhere quieter. You mean go somewhere else? Sounds yep, yep, good. yep, yep. Hmm. But I'm just. How about the? Uh, how about the the fishing the village? Fishing village near Wangshu Inn. That place is deserted now, isn't it? Well, there's no. That's not any people over there. How do you even know that place anyway? It's tiny. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen it on a single map. I once found some treasure there. <laughs> treasure? There? I guess I missed out on that one. Well, Shu Liushi did tell us about that one, but I'm not, I'm not about to tell her that right now. It just so <laughs> happens that that little village is where I grew up. And now that you've mentioned it, it's given me the urge to go back and take a look around. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. That was the one. How about we take <clears throat> this opportunity to pay my old home a visit? Yeah, let's do that. What is these? Oh my god, it's so pretty. Uh, 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 uh. Alright, let's so. Okay. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Time to lose. Wait, what time is it? Oh, it's 6 41. <laughs> I should probably feed my cat in a bit. Hey, right, here we are. Hmm. It's certainly seen better days. 
It was never that impressive, but at least back in the day, it was a lively village and home to several families. I wonder how long these last few old houses will remain standing. So, what exactly happened here? Nothing as dramatic as you might think. A few small incidents occurred, and then people began to leave. Come on, let's take a walk around. All right. People used to call this place Downriver because the villagers apparently moved here from a place called Upriver. <laughs> nice. With them, they brought their knowledge of fishing, which had been passed down from generation to generation. I learned a lot from them when I was here. Mm. Now Upriver is long gone, and Downriver is all but deserted. It won't be long before no one even remembers what these places are called. Oh. To Zhong. Zhong. Hmm. I barely remember this name. It's probably because you were little at the time. You're right. I was only about five or six years old when I first arrived here. I was homeless and had to wander around the streets. Zhong Li. I remember finally <laughs> managing to find half a rice bun, but then a stray dog jumped out and snatched it from me. Man. That's rough. Half a rice bun was not something I was willing to give up so easily at the time. So I chased it all the way to this neighborhood. Ah, I see. <laughs> then a few fishermen saw us running and stopped me. They were kind enough to give me some food. Oh. Seeing me stop, the dog also stopped running. Oh. But straight away it keeled over and never got up again. Oh, that's so maybe sad. It was too tired or maybe it had starved to death. I went over and saw that the dog still had mm. the half rice bun in its mouth. Didn't even get to eat it. Didn't That's so sad. Even at the very end. <sighs> Poor thing. Had I known the dog was so weak, I would have let it take that half rice bun. That's when the villagers here took you in? I could tell they were wary of me at first. I was the dirty little kid who had just <laughs> chased a dog to death over some scraps of food. <laughs> but I got lucky. The village chief took pity on me and brought me to their home. That's how I ended up staying here. What made you leave later? <laughs> Do you know what the name Beto means? Hmm. Not really. Come on. I'll explain along the way. About a year or two after I arrived, the village chief fell ill during the winter and passed away. Hmm. During that same period, the harvest was getting worse, and the fisherman's catch was getting smaller. Oh, day day. wait a minute. That's going to be so sad. To handle the situation, people began <clears throat> blaming each other. There were even rumors that some families had been overfishing and leaving nothing for the rest of the village to catch. I think I know what's, what this is about end, to go. They yeah. All on me, oh, uh. Saying that they shouldn't have ever taken me in. Man, that they sucks. Bad luck. Hmm. They pointed to how that dog died on the first day I arrived. Next mm. thing you know, the village chief dies, and then all the fish die out. Man, that they sucks. Said I was a living curse, and the downfall of the village was all my fault. Man, don't it, put shit like that on I children. Understand. I'm not a curse, I'm just Beto. Yeah. Then some of the villagers started shouting, and drove me out of the village. Mm. They shouted... Nando controls life. Beto controls death. Beto controls death. Mm. Before then, all I knew about my name was that it had something to do with the stars. Oh, interesting. It wasn't until then that I realized that Beto was a constellation. And the Alcor, one of its stars, was an omen of death. Ah, oh, that's... That's the foreshadowing of... Not this good. Is the old house of the village chief. <laughs> Foreshadowing of not good. I bet he never expected that the little girl he took in would grow up to <clears> be seen as a curse that brought about the village's total destruction. If you're cursed, and I think I am too. What do you mean? Yenimar Consnosis was taken after I arrived in Mondstadt. <laughs> is that all? Your Consnosis was also taken after I arrived in Leeway. And let me guess, you got to Inazuma and the Electro <laughs> Archon's Gnosis was taken as well? Yep. <laughs> well, you seem to wreak havoc <laughs> on a grander scale than I ever could. <laughs> Does that make you feel better now? <laughs> oh, I get it. You're trying to convince me that I'm not cursed. I appreciate it, and I'll take it. Let's not forget that the people whose names stick around are the ones who emerge from the stormy seas unscathed. And the ones who get swept away in the wind are the fledgling birds who couldn't hack it. Mm. I, for one, have never encountered a storm I couldn't weather. Yeah, hell yeah. But your journey's far from over, isn't it? 
Just remember, there's no telling what else you might encounter in this vast world. So if you ever find some idiot trying to brand you as a scapegoat <laughs> just because you're the one who lived to tell the tale, tell them Captain Beto demands to have the honor along with you. Man! Ah, oh, this is solid. I feel like alongside uh, maybe maybe Albedo. Albedo, Child, Beto. Uh, I feel like some most some of these characters are gonna have a lot to do with uh what the ending will be in um in the story of genshin i feel like i don't know because there's a lot of just vibes going around here you know maybe i'm just wrong but it's just giving off a lot of vibes you know i feel like they're gonna be super important in, in the end remember you'll always have the captain of the crux to back you up wherever you go you're a real one beto i suppose we're just two scapegoats looking out for each other <laughs> Two cursed scapegoats banding together for survival. Sounds like a recipe for disaster, but at the same time, I kind of dig it. <laughs> I'm lucky to have a friend like you. Hell yeah. Okay, it's time to get back to our photography. Right, teacher? Finally remember what we're here for. Come on, let's not waste any time. Get it done while you can before I change my mind. <laughs> so, do I need to strike a pose? Yep. <clears throat> <laughs> Can I really go for this? I kind of want to go for it, but I feel like it's pushing however you prefer. All right. How about this? We, we, we'll go back to this. Don't worry. We'll check everything. Ah, sheesh. The sun's in her face, though. Super against the light. Gosh. Uh, maybe just up here or something. Uh, come on. You can do it. It's just a photo. Nice. So, is it done yet? Please don't tell me that it looks weird. Not at all. It's perfect. <sighs> Show me. <laughs> Only if you promise to give it back. Sure, whatever. Now give it here. <laughs> hmm. Yes. I see. All right. On behalf of the Crux, thank you very much for your photography class today. <laughs> You've been an excellent teacher, and I couldn't be more satisfied. All right. Now, as captain of the Crux, I am exercising That's my official heart. right to requisition this photograph for future promotion and recruitment <laughs> purposes. So I'm afraid I'll be holding on to this. That's fine with you, though, right? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> She took the fucking photo. How dare she? All right. Maybe there's another uh, ending here where you can take a photo of the entire crew. Be good. All right, how about this one? Where I'm from. Here we are. I bet he never expected that the little. What do you mean? <laughs> Is that all? And let me get. <laughs> Well, <laughs> I appreciate it. Let's not forget I for that your journeys. So if you ever find, remember, you'll always. <laughs> you I dig. I'm lucky to have. Okay, it's time to get back to our photography. I thought you might right, not teacher? be in the mood. Come on, let's not waste any time. So. Let's <laughs> try this one. What? The nerve! What do you think this is? <laughs> I don't want to do this whole modeling thing. Hey, cut it out. No more pictures. <laughs> you can press on the shutter before cutting. <laughs> nice. Flirtatious, quote unquote. <laughs> oh, what a cute photo that is. I thought we agreed to start a flirtatious pose. Sorry, you agree with who again? <laughs> Nice. 
Ah, man. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah, actually, I don't know why I don't know why I keep forgetting, but one of the other four stars that I'm actually super interested in, besides Heizo, Kuki, Yunjin, and Beido, is Sayu. I think I mentioned earlier that I really enjoyed Sayu's kit. Her kit is super fun. If I could have, if I could, like, invest in her, like, even if I didn't really, if, if, if I didn't really need to, I would have, honestly. It's so much fun to use. Alright, what is this? Seems like something interesting. Bring it on. Oh, it's just an event. Alright. Well, okay. I've done the story quest that I wanted to do for today, except for Sayus, but I don't really need to do that right now. And I feel like I should be enjoying more of these story quests some other time. Say I've, I've been doing the story quests so I can pull on Hazo's on on fucking Kaza's banner to get Hazo, but yeah, I don't I don't have the luxury for that anymore, sadly. <laughs> it's all right. There you go. This has been fun, honestly. Well, it's been a, a, a huge fucking roller coaster. <laughs> Monstat. Uh, yeah. Check this out. Interlude chapter. The tunnel's end. Light. Ah, oh, yeah. The perilous trail. I wonder what the next quest is gonna be. Oh, yeah, oh, pala, no? Pagkatas ng 2.8, 3.0 na no, agad. So, I don't know, I don't know how they're, they're gonna connect this back there, but... I'm... I'm pretty... I'm pretty hyped for, I'm pretty fucking hyped for Sumeru. <clears throat> Black Serpent's... Black Serpent Knight's Glory. Whew! Well... I think... That will be it for tonight. For today, I guess. I mean, I've been streaming for like almost five hours now. I mean, it's a bit, I think it's officially five hours now, right? Yeah, almost. So I'm just gonna go get my expedition rewards. Stop us. We're just gonna have an intermission and then we're gonna, gonna come back here again on Thursday. <laughs> I don't think I know how I stream on Thursday, but uh, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. <laughs> actually, actually, one of the reasons I say why I really want to get wanted to get Hazo was because I could have a Taser team that I didn't need to put Child in to it. <laughs> like it could all just be uh, that that my Taser team could just be uh, an entirely separate team from my international team because child, child's already in my international team so my national team so i wanted to have something different to be so yeah so so taser team it would be beido official uh sing chu and hazel yeah that would be a that would be a good team yeah that would be a team that i would enjoy but yeah sadly it's not the <clears throat> not the case but hey, can't have everything. Uh, let's just check my history here real quick. I'm not going to update now. Ah, there it is. Tang ina talaga weed sis yung binigay sa akin. Oh my god. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. Forty-two. Wait, forty-two? No, 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 not forty-two. No, wait, forty-two. Oh, forty-two. 
Oh, strange. Yeah, I guess 42. So I'm on like a 40 pity now. I can do one pull, but I'm not. We're gonna save now until uh, until Zhongli's rerun, because that's coming soon in the second half of uh sum of 3.0. If I if leaks are to be if leaks are to be believed, so let's get on it. All right. <clears throat> Again, I had a lot of fun today, even though I didn't <laughs> win. I didn't, I didn't get a Hazo, which is sad, but, you know. Again, there's nothing much we can do about it. So! <sighs> yeah, and thanks everyone for coming by. I appreciate everyone who uh, stayed, even for a little bit. Um, Next Thursday, oh, ne this Thursday, I think I'll be playing something different again. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to play but if there is something, like anything interesting that's happening by Thursday, then I'm going to play it. But uh, for now, uh, I hope everybody has enjoyed watching so far. Thank you very much, and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye. Bye, everyone. Take me up high and get me down